to the Town of Brookfield Selectman's meeting of Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. Would you all please stand and salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you all would remain standing, please. I'd like to have a moment of silence for our treasurer, Sandra Cady, who passed away on May 10th. Sandra was not only a colleague, but she was a very dear friend to all of us, and I hope that she will rest in peace. Thank you. Okay. First on the agenda is the approval of the expense warrant for 523.17 for $197,663.80. I'll make a motion. Okay. Any discussion? No, you end up no. seconding. I'll, I'll second it. Yes. No. 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 I'll approve. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, approves selectmen's minutes of 317. Se 3717. I'd like to entertain a motion. I'll provide you that motion. Okay. Um, no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Also, I would like to acknowledge reports and meetings for other departments. The Conservation Commission meetings from 21117, 32117, Advisory Committee minutes 12517. 2217, 2617, 21317, and 21617. Could I have a motion? Please? You have that motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. The Memorial Day Parade will take place Monday, May 22nd, 29th. Fellow citizens, veterans, first responders, scouts, students, and more are invited to join in a proper observance of the day. Parade starts at 10 a.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School, continues to the Brookfield Cemetery at 10.30 a.m. to the Town Common Memorial Square at 11.30 a.m. In case of rain, assembly will be at the Brookfield Elementary School cafeteria. Okay, our next is public access. Does anyone have anything they'd like to come up for for public access? Seeing no one. Seeing no one, we will move along. Okay, our first one on the agenda is uh, highway generator. the highway generator. Would you like to discuss that? It would just, well, two, two things that have come up. So that we had a discussion about a generator. Beth has done some research, and so we can wait on another time to get into the research that, that she's done. Okay. But basically, for, for, with respect to the highway department, that they'll be doing some studying and trying to do... Uh, Searching out uh, surplus generators yes, that I might know, be available. Yeah, Cindy had so, mentioned it. Okay. So and, and it, that's that's one page. But then I see the fire chief here this evening as well. And so we received a, a correspondence earlier today from the electrical inspector suggesting that we may have some work to be doing with respect to the panel at the fire department. So uh, again, I don't think we need to talk about it tonight. But uh, it's also something we've got to be concerned about and, and get on the list. Okay, because I know that they said that we could pass it over. Yes. The annual. Yes. Okay. But at least get it from people. Okay. Front of people. All right. Now the next is to uh, entertain a motion to ratify the acceptance of the Munibid High bid of thirty-seven hundred from Chuck Rand Auto Parts for the nineteen seventy-seven Mack truck. Do you have a motion to that effect? Okay, and I will second the motion. Uh, any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Right. The next one is uh, to end up entertain. Um, the next one is the Cooley Hill property right. discussion. Okay. So the bidder in, the, in this particular case, or the person that was interested, mm -hmm. or was the high bidder, did put a deposit down and has seemingly disappeared. Yes. So we have his money, but we and have no. Sent, and we sent him out and certified, certified everything. Exactly. Yep. Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion to put um, it back on the market for sale. It's 11 acres of land. And I would give you that motion. Okay, and I'll 
Second. Seconded. And uh, any discussion from anybody at all? Oh. Yeah. Is the town of Woodfield paying taxes on that? The problem with that. The Cooley. Well, part of it, isn't part of it in North Brookfield and part is in Brookfield? I don't I thought, know. I thought it's all, all it's in it. It's all in Brookfield. Is it? It's all in Brookfield. No, a portion I mean, of North Brookfield. North yeah, Brookfield. All, yeah. are, the tam uh, are the taxes waived? Or I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Well, we should find that out there. Okay. We don't pay taxes. You don't? That, that's where I was going. We checked into that one again. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'll ask Gail tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be okay. good. All in favor? All right. All right. Um, let's get it back out there. So we'll, we'll, we'll advertise it. Yep. If you need some help, let me know. Okay. Well, now this one is uh, ready. This is to entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign for the MOU for the ADA transition plan compliance. You have it. Motion to that effect. Okay, I'll second that motion and I'll sign it. Now, where do I have to sign it? Okay. And today is 23. I, 20, 20, 23. We'll say I. Oh, we'll say aye. All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Now we have uh, entertain a mode. Now it's um yeah, have we'll a wage authorization. Yep. And that is for um, Dennis Clark, who who will be the second operator for the water department at a rate of uh, twenty one dollars. I would like to entertain a motion. You have a motion to that effect. And we'll second it. And personnel went through? Yeah, per yes, the yep. personnel board, we went through this and we signed this on 5-11-17. And uh, any discussion on this? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now we have also, we have um, a vacation carryover request from uh, Donald Herbert. He says, uh, Dear Selectman, I am requesting permission to carry over the balance of my vacation time into the fiscal year, and I will use my vacation time by December 31st, 2017. Thank you for your consideration, Donald L. Herbert. And he has 120 hours remaining. Make a motion. I will second that motion. Any discussion on that? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's passed. Okay. All right. Our next one is to entertain a motion to approve a request from the Brookfield Community Club to hold a 5K family fund race on October 7th, 2017 at 8 a.m. for Apple Country Fair. I'll make the motion. Okay. And I will second the motion. Any discussion from anyone? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next one is to set some meeting dates. Let yep. me get out my calendar here, too. Okay. Okay. We were wondering, uh, tonight we're going to go over the articles, some more articles there for the annual and the special. And also, I think we were going to go over probably the um, the line items. And if, uh, I don't know, are they, Dave, do you want to come up for a sec? What's that? Okay, I'm lo we're going to go over um, the articles for the special and the annual, and then we're going to also go over the line items. Now, are the line items pretty well set, or would we have to wait for Carrie to finish them? They're all, yeah, they're all done, but everything's in. We just wait for Carrie to do the spreadsheet, and we'll be good. Okay, do you think we would have to meet again, or is June 6th, or, or would June 6th be enough to meet? That's too late. How about Tuesday? Next Tuesday. Yeah, we wouldn't have really a lot of time to prepare. How about Wednesday? Yeah, that's fine, too. Would that be all right with you? That'd be real good, yeah. Um, Night or day? Yeah. It, do we need the full board to discuss it, or can we meet during the day on it? Mm 
That would be June. Who else wanted me? No, no, no. That's okay. Gary, how's that sound with you? We're talking about uh, Let's see. June 1st. No, Wednesday the 31st. That's fine. And can we do that during the day? It can be here in the evening if you need it. Yeah, probably in the evening then. Do you want to do? Most of it's work. Okay. May 31st at? 6.30. 6.30. Okay, we'll meet then. And then, um, will we need to meet on June 6th? I would say skip that. Uh, go 13 and 27. Okay. Okay, and then June 9th, we should probably meet at 6 o'clock before yeah. Oh, yeah. the yeah. town meeting. And then yes. June 20th. Oh, you want to go 20? June or do you think we should maybe do uh, the 13th? I'm thinking 20 now. Uh, 20? Yeah, all right. We'll meet June 20th. We need to do something. And if we have to do something in between. Uh, July 11th. Yep. July 25th. Mm -hmm. August 8th. And August 22nd. So are those dates all good for you? So far. And if anything comes up, you know, we'll just um, we'll just change them if we have to change them. Yeah, target them. Oh, okay. Oh, geez, we're on to other already. Moving right along here. You have efficient, <laughs> very efficient. Well, I have a very efficient administrative <laughs> assistant. <laughs> all righty. This is now from, okay. This is. To set the dates and other. All right. Uh, last week I had already signed the contract here for the Rice Corner Crossroad yes. culvert, and now um, I guess that we have to entertain a motion to award the contract for the engineering of the Rice Corner Crossroad culvert to Comprehensive Environmental in the amount of uh, twenty-six three eleven three hundred eleven, and. Uh, the only part of it that the town has to pay is $1,311. So, so I would like to entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll second it. Second it. All in, any discussion from anyone? Just so I've been quite forthcoming as to the benefits of having the admin at the highway department. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest that with the town's only outlay of $1,300, this is a significant impact in, in improvement of the town. And it comes about from the hard work that she's oh. continues to put in. I know Cindy does. I have to. Cindy does an excellent job, and she does. She works very hard down there. She goes. I feel she goes above and beyond. Yep. So now we'll vote. Do we have a? We, so do we have a vote? We need to say aye. Oh, aye. <laughs> Don't mind me tonight. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I need to make sure we sign that document. Oh, we did sign it. I okay. signed it last week. It was actually already signed last week. It was signed last week. Oh, we just okay. had to open it. And we just had to open up. Earlier today. All right. Which next, I covered. Okay, next we will have um, the um, town accountant, Carrie, come up. Okay, Carrie, the floor is yours. So um, basically what I'm asking for here is um, for you to approve of the plan that I have set in place to correct and remediate all of our financial um, accounting records and procedures. Um, we all know that Schedule A, the balance sheet, and free cash certification are not um, produced yet. And I've had our software company um, go through everything and they even agree that it was virtually impossible for me to produce these documents the way that our system is currently set up. Um, <clears throat> they've spent hours and hours uh, looking through our system and not only in the accounting department but also in the treasurer's department and the tax collector's department there's a lot of discrepancies and a lot of um, we don't know how to have the system really talk to each other well. So I've approached Vadar um, about helping us to clean up the books here and um, I have come up with uh, a quote from them and basically I'm, I'm asking for your permission to uh, sign the contract 
so that we can get this uh, up and running. Uh, basically, I've just pointed out some, some summary points here. Um, the money is already in my budget. Um, every penny of it is, is available. It's been allotted for this type of issue um, and held over year to year. Um, it's been since 2014 since we've had an actual audit in this town and it was only for half a year. Mm -hmm. So we really do need to have an audit and this is a twofold proposal. Um, one would be to have Vader come in, help to restructure all three departments, get everything balanced with a clean set of books, and that would allow us to, moving forward, start a completely fresh set of books. Any discrepancies can be handled at the time it happens, rather than three or four years down the line, um, because that is a lot of the problem. There are several discrepancies that have been carried through the years that nobody, I, I can't account for them anywhere because they're 10 years old. So they would be looking at cleaning everything up for us. They um, have also spoken to um, Scanlon Associates, which was our town auditor. Um, I guess in past years he has been reluctant to come and, and do the audit for us because um, the books are in such disarray. Yes, because I've been trying to get in touch with him for a couple of years now and he hasn't been returning my calls. And that is why. Um, apparently he instructed um, this person who was here prior, I don't know who at the time in 2014, but instructed them that um, he was not really interested in coming back to, to work on a mess. But Vader, so, you said, was but, able to reach him. Yes, Vader was able to reach out to him, and based on the proposal that Vader has for me, um, Scanlon has agreed to come in the spring and do an audit up to and including fiscal 17 for the cost of one year, $15,000. So one year versus four years, um, that's a significant savings. And, and we have that money. That is in my fiscal 18 budget. Fiscal 18. Yes. So that money is already already okay. there. Right. And, and if I understand ah. the proposal correctly, mm -hmm. What we would be doing is classifying the VADAR work on the accounting structure within the town and the account alignment mm -hmm. as audit preparation work. Correct. And by classifying it as audit preparation work, the funding could come from the carryover years audit budget. Money. Absolutely, yes. Because uh, in essence, in doing that reconciliation between the actual monies and the virtual account and the account structure cleanup, that could be classified as preparatory work for the actual audit, which Correct. a different party will be coming in and doing. So Vadar is coming in and acting as a yes. third party. Yeah, I understand that. I and talked to Carol. Oh, it's it's, it's okay. more for the it's oh, more okay. for folks right. that might not have, have, you know, kind of the background. It's, it's not so much... Um, and that way, we have one entity doing the audit preparation work with you, in essence, by the owner yes. of the accounts, and then a second entity coming in and actually to doing do the audit. audit. And with that entity having some faith and confidence that an independent third party has helped with that reconciliation of the Correct. accounts between the departments virtually and getting all the balances. Yes. <laughs> and Vader is also willing to. Um, to come and aid with the audit with Scanlon. So that if there are any issues, Vader will be right there. They'll know exactly what happened. They'll be able to go through with him and tell them, you know, okay, we found this, we'll, we moved it here, we did this. Um, so. And you can expect I'll, both, yeah. just a bunch of cleanup on the spring. Yeah. And yes. didn't you also say that um, 25 hours of training will be for you? The Treasurer and the tax collector. Yes, included in this um, um, <clears throat> proposal from Vader, it, it will be 25 hours to each of the following the accountant, the tax collector, mm -hmm. and the treasurer um, to work with us in um, any issues that we have from our day to day issues, um, from entering uh, bills to reconciling items. They might be able to show us how their system is better functioning yes, now that it's been cleaned up. Um, the, big, the big thing of this really is uh, the current system is not set up to state standards. So to produce these documents that the state requires is extremely uh, time consuming. Um, 
Whereas if we, if we have them set up our books to the Yuma standards, I literally have to press a button and most of our information is uploaded right into DOR. There's no room for error. Um, it's just, I'm kind of shocked as a professional to see how this has happened. <laughs> because I have pulled my hair out for months trying to follow what has been going on and it's, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Well, I want to thank you, Carrie, for doing all this research for us and, you know, to, to go to all the trouble to getting us updated to where, where we should be. Okay. And so we can just have a fresh start on all the books. The other issue also is um, the, the second half of fiscal 17 is, is behind because of the treasurer's seat. Mm -hmm. So VADAR is willing to come in and get that department caught up and balanced. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. So, Good. Um, thank you a lot of support they've designated three specific people to come in full-time and do this until we're clean um, they're estimating that uh, they're looking at three phases the first phase would be to balance and clean up all of fiscal 16 and get those documents out and prepared as mm -hmm. quickly as possible so that we can um, get that taken care of before it's an issue uh, a bigger issue um, and then they're saying that um, ideally September I would be able to file all of fiscal 17 documents clean and fresh and uh, and then moving forward from there shouldn't be shouldn't be as difficult as it's been this year so there's a lot that's playing into this yes. um, not just the accounting department so there's a lot of uh, learning that needs to happen in all three departments and they're willing to include it in this proposal they're willing to uh, put the time in to help us to succeed yeah, that's great does uh, anybody have um any discussion? Do we have, I'd like to entertain a motion to allow the town accountant to sign a contract with VEDA Municipal Software Service. Oh. Just one quick question. Are they also doing anything to help the departments talking to each other through the Yes, system? yes. Um, that will be included in the training that's provided to the three departments. Um, there are issues as far as uh, getting the the tax collector to, to talk with the treasurer, to talk with the accountant. So we want to learn as a group how to do this so that we don't have to call VADAR every time there's a problem. Yeah. Um, and have some set sort of written um, uh, policy in place mm. so that, let's say, I don't know how to do something. I can look in the book and say, oh, there it is, and I can just follow the steps. Yeah, like Same, manual. yes, just exactly, manual. exactly. Which then brings up the topic of the financial policy document mm -hmm. and where we have gotten through the the first part of it, kind of the rudimentary kinds of things, the practices and whatnot, where we've pretty much done that, lock those down. Mm -hmm. This is a good time to take a deep breath, and when you're ready, we then implement those documents or those procedures within that document. That's what I would okay. say, yes. Yeah. Good? That's good, Kenny. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you again for everything. Okay. Oh, so you wanted a motion? You I, had a motion. Okay. And we've had our discussion. Uh, all in favor? Of, of letting the town accountant um, sign the contract with VEDA Municipal Software Services. Aye. Aye. Okay, that passed. Thank you. You've made my life so much You're happier very... today. Uh, Keep going, Gary. A lot of work. Yeah. Right. A lot of work. Okay. All righty. Now, before I do the correspondence, we want to go back to uh, which one are we here? Discussion. Okay, number nine, the discussion with the advisory board request to tax collector. Okay. Would the, probably some of the couple of the advisory board members like to come up? This is going to be the discussion on the um, advisory board request to the tax collector. Okay, um, after the discussion last week, um, it came to um, my attention that I think um, employees think that the advisory board is going beyond the ch their charge, they're charged to do in the bylaw. And so I would like to read that charge. 
This is um, Chapter 4 of the Advisory Board, Section 1. There shall be an advisory board for the town to which shall be referred all articles and any warrant hereafter issued for a town meeting. The selectmen, after drawing a warrant for the town meeting, shall immediately forward a copy thereof to each member of said committee, which shall consider all articles in the warrant and make such report and print otherwise to the town meeting as it deems for the best interest of the town. The committee will also make reports and issue recommendations for all articles, questions, or other matters referring to Proposition 2 and a half, so called. The said committee shall consist of nine legal voters of the town to be appointed as provided in Section 2. Elected or appointed town officers or employees shall be eligible to serve. However, they must abstain from voting on the articles affecting their department. If any member is absent for five consecutive meetings of said meeting, meeting, uh, except in a case of illness, his position shall be deemed to be vacant and shall be filed, filled as provided in Section 3. And this was amended on uh, May 2006. Okay, we okay. met the other, I guess the other day, uh, Marie, you and Steve, I guess, mm -hmm. met with Brenda mm -hmm. about her um, some, you want to see the deposit slips? Yes. I think things, from what I understand, things got a little bit out of hand with it. Um, they did. Um, it wasn't uh, Steve or I that were out of hand, um, so which was very unfortunate um, because we were just sent with a task, and that was my intent was to look at documents and um, get some information and go, and that was it. Um, Excuse me. She called me a liar. I mean, that's kind of hard. To I never, I never once uttered the word liar. Well, he asked you point blank, and you said yes. I called. I call no, yes. no. Well, she assumed well, that. She, well, but... she assumed that. Okay, because I, because I said that we were there to help verify trips that were made. To the bank. How many other How many other Can I please finish? I'm, I'm talking oh, to oh, Miss oh, Lincoln. No, okay. Can I please finish? You want to okay. keep order here, Linda, please? Yes. Thank okay. you. Because I'm, I'm trying to make a statement here of uh, what happened. So, um, asking for this information, um, unfortunately, um, the collector was not happy to be there, and that was quite evident. Um, and that's and I and I understand that um, there's been a bunch of things going on. All we wanted to do was look at some information and verify a few things and be on our way. And it, it was just made into much more than what it really needed to be. Um, she Steve um, typed up um, a report of the. Um, meeting, um, which the advisory has not um, approved yet, um, <clears throat> he wasn't able to be with us on Monday so that we could discuss it uh, because there were things left out that I wanted included in here. Um, we had asked, I had asked to look for, uh, to look at multiple uh, documents um, pertaining to banks, banking. And there was a box available, as he says in the report, and it's got a number, I mean, a number of um, bundles in there of information. But from what I could tell, um, they're not easily recognizable as being wire transfers or actual over-the-counter transactions. So yes, that would take a little bit of effort to go through them and try to identify over-the-counter transactions. Um, we wanted to see more than one. All we got to see was one. I gave you four deposit slips. I only <laughs> saw one. Okay. So, um, and in the interest of not making the situation any worse than it had to be, I just let it go. She did show us um, how she had, um, where she'd gotten the information that she submitted to the committee 
uh, pertaining to visits to hometown bank and country bank um, because on the country bank portion um, we noticed that it was dated incorrectly as transactions in 2017 that have not even happened yet. So we had sent back in with that um, notation and um, we covered that there as well and it was just um, basically a typo I guess. Um, she does have a notebook on her desk with uh, which she used the information from that black notebook to compile the two reports from the two banks that she gave us. So that kind of helped verify to me where that information came from. Because initially when it was presented to us, we were told that it was off the internet. When I'm, that's what we were told by Mr. Online Falter. Banking. We were told by Mr. Falter Online that banking. it can be taken any number of ways, okay? But indeed it wasn't, it wasn't okay. though. In any case, okay, it was okay. compiled, it wasn't, it was compiled. No raising, no raising voices okay. tonight. Well, it was okay. compiled from her book, whatever. I'm, I'm, that doesn't bother me. As long as there's some original document that it was compiled from. That's all I was concerned about. Um, and at the same, yeah, there were a number of people that were there. Um, Steve was there, I was there, the collector was there, uh, Holly Chisholm was there. Um, there was an officer nearby conducting some business. Um, at one point, Peter Martell floated through the office. Um, I didn't. I wasn't aware at the time. I think Karen might have been in her office, but I didn't see her. And and yes, it escalated terribly. Um, I was insulted. I was told that I should be ashamed of myself um, for dealing with this board and for with this particular issue. Um, when I s stated, which I'm not even sure if they're allowed to ask us why we wanted this information, I'm not even sure that, that, was, that that's allowable. Um, that's when people got really upset and, said, and Holly said that I was calling Brenda a liar. Are you calling her a liar? I said, we are just here to verify information. And Holly, unfortunately, and I know she's not here, and so, I'm sorry so to hear, but she question, almost came over her well, desk well, wait a second, yelling think, at me, so it, and, which was very Madam unfortunate. Chair, um, yeah. I, I think we need to be careful about yes, some sir. of this. Yeah, mention, and mentioning names of people okay. who well, aren't uh, yeah, yeah, people who aren't here who haven't mm -hmm. been notified mm -hmm. that there may be a concern. I, I think we're getting call into call a call realm call here. Yeah. So 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 we need a couple of requests. Well it was right. So so I think I think I think one of the things we we really need to establish is 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 let's pull the attribution and emotions out of it, what was requested, what mm -hmm. has been received, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and have we been clear about what both the request is and what mm -hmm. its purpose is, mm -hmm. and then is that purpose aligned with what the advisory okay. committee is intended for, because we have accountants and auditors for this <coughs> entity for a reason. Which okay. haven't been done since 2014. Okay, okay. understood. So, okay. But so if, there's, if there's, if there's, if, if well, well Wait. I just want to complete my thought. Everybody's asking for the courtesy mm -hmm. of completing their thought. Okay, mm -hmm. my first thought, I did interrupt you because I think we are getting into a territory that is not appropriate mm -hmm. for open meeting unless the people being discussed are notified mm -hmm. in advance mm -hmm. and we have that discussion. Okay. okay. So that's why I interrupted. Mm -hmm. I do want to complete my thought, which is that, you know, advisory committee advising on the budget, mm -hmm. you might need some validation of information mm -hmm. if your concern was that we needed to validate the, the ex expense report that was processed on a warrant, mm -hmm. okay, then we notify the, the proper people to do that verification. We just went through a verification with the fire department mm -hmm. of three years of documents using mm -hmm. our internal auditing mm -hmm. asset. Okay. It doesn't make sense we treat one department one way and we're treating another department another way using a different entity to do that audit. I'm a trained auditor in aerospace. I am not a trained auditor in municipal finance. Mm -hmm. okay. Could I apply my skills as a trained aerospace auditor to municipal finance? Maybe, but I'd probably get something wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Um, well, then it so, should have been stated at the outset of the request of our information. If you knew of another manner of which that information could be processed, it should have been said. I'm not certain at how that this time. request was originally generated and what process it went through. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. To Go the ahead. I apologize. I didn't Go. see you. Karen said no. I just want to put my two cents in here. The items that are being questioned, I'm a little bit confused about in general because every other department puts in the same information yeah. and gets the same reimbursement. Why was only one department yeah. questioned? That was, all put in for mileage. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was my question also, mm -hmm. you know, that it was to look and at her mileage to see. Right, it is mm -hmm. part of her job. Okay. Mm -hmm. because Do you want to take that? Because that was my, my question also, mm -hmm. why her mileage was being requested. Because um, we had made, when we had our theft there back in 2014, we had passed a policy that we didn't want extra money hanging around here at the town hall, any cash, and we wanted this cash gone, you know, we wanted it taken to the bank. Mm -hmm. And now she has a check reader, so she does a check reader. Mm -hmm. And with the cash, I mean, that's a must. It has to go into the bank, and I don't think... And then she put it all in. She had saved her mileage, and she put it all in at one time. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I mean, if she accounted to you how many times, I'm sure that she did on her expenses, mm -hmm. how many times that she went to the bank, I don't understand why this was all questioned. Okay. Because it's her mileage going, and if other departments are doing the same thing, mm -hmm. are they questioned? We were, we were dealing with that department at that time. Okay, I wasn't even thinking about, the only reason I thought about other departments, I would say, uh, because the assessor submitted um, request for mileage, which we had never seen before, you know, prior to that time. Yeah, I know and he presented idea. it, you know, in a format, mm -hmm. and that was great. So that kind of got me on the track of thinking, what forms are we supposed to be using to um, log mileage okay we, and in the back of the policy and procedure book there are a number of forms there for various reasons and one of them is a mileage form okay this wasn't being submitted to us we couldn't look at a mileage form okay all we got was a lump that said I went this many times and okay where's the verification of that now it's already been said that you shouldn't be auditing my account okay for the past few years, I think a few of us feel that due diligence hasn't been done in the various departments in general with keeping track of things such, well, you can say mileage if you want, but I don't, not everybody I don't think applies for mileage, but in various, in various ways, whether it's purchasing of equipment, I mean, um, since the, we had the little issue with it being said that, um, the, it hadn't been acknowledged, none of the, I don't know how many employees have turned into you acknowledgement forms for receiving the policy and procedure book. Okay, yeah? One. One, okay, so that's a great point. So who's in charge of making sure that all the employees turn in those forms? We are going through that document page by page. What okay. You, what you might have heard here earlier is we've gotten to a point where the mileage kinds of activities have been covered as to what the practices and procedures are to be mm -hmm. for the, what form to be used. So mm -hmm. we, as of next Tuesday's mm -hmm. meeting, we will lock down that part of the, okay. of the of the document. So we have been remiss, and I, when I say we, generally all of us mm -hmm. have been remiss mm -hmm. in how we've been handling that policy and procedure. At the point, and I will be asking the, the, the department heads that will be attending next Tuesday, we've gotten to this point in the procedure mm -hmm. because of Carrie's work, it really says the back half of that procedure wants to wait now, it's good enough. And we now have go forward with the signing, signing of the agreement that we're gonna to live to that, to that mm -hmm. policy. Mm -hmm. So we've come a very long okay. way. Well, it's just a shame, and I'm not placing the blame on anyone in particular, but if this has been going on for years, you know, like various other things. Uh, what do you mean going on for years? Well, no, so well, no, well, no, it, no, no, no. That not little things like getting acknowledgments from employees for the handbook and, and that such thing. I'm not saying that happened all recently. There's a history of maybe a little bit of lackadaisical enforcement of various things. 
And being that we're over a seven million dollar entity, you know, that we're dealing with money here, I just it's a very small thing as far as I can see, to to assure that that thing is is taken care of. That's all. So, so I guess from my perspective, is is my your your concern with mileage reimbursement, a line item? Are we are we? Are, um, do you well, have, that do you that. Have, well, when she, when it, yeah, I'm, I'm what, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it, try to straighten this can, out. Can really I say simple. one thing first? Yeah, go ahead. Mindy. Okay, we have. Do we have a mileage form? Yes. 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 And because I remember when I was here, we used to have a mileage form. You had to put the <clears> beginning <throat> from the odometer, and then you put it to the end of your trip. And we had to keep track of every time that we used that. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it really that she really didn't have anything like mm. that. Another acceptable form of yeah. uh, proof would be to print out, um, such as a Google Maps yeah. start directions, <coughs> and you do it from the time of the place of your yep. employment to your place of your destination, okay. and that is your standard mm -hmm. mileage for every trip you take. Mm -hmm. How many times? Mm -hmm. you no, know, Brenda did. Believe, I believe what she what I use. And, oh, and that's what you use. You use the uh, one from Google. Okay. So when you did turn in for all of that mileage, you had turned in a sheet for each of those. Trip that you had made to the bank. I told them like what I had given them. Something. This is what I had given the advisory board. It was so basically a list of the dates and times that I went to the bank. And yes, when I was doing the country bank, I had to manually do them because I no longer had an account. Um, and when you hit 81, enter, yeah, it's coming over 2017. And that was, I told them that was my bad. I apologize for that mistake. But obviously, I'm not able to make deposits in August either, so unless I'm doing something pretty spectacular. Okay. So I, I think okay. I, I think what the question was actually um, is when you submitted for your mileage, did you just list the dates and your destination with the with the miles to and from? I just, it well, was because I had two banks. I did country bank and then hometown. And then okay, as, as two separate as two separate um, mileage claims. Well, I, or once no, it's all lumped together. Yeah. But the thing was, that form that she just showed you was not the original form that we were given with this with our budget as an ex, you know as an explanation but, of an expense. It should have been with the budget. If I'm, I'm presuming this came up because you reviewed like detail warrants after well, after signing. Is that where that? I just happened? wanted to make sure that it was understood that all we got was a sheet that said I went 537 miles. You know, we didn't get any verification of that through, say, those bank statements until later. Okay. After we had begun, after we had been well, no, it asking be, questions. It wouldn't be the bank statements. I'm just, what I'm trying to understand is what, what piece of information flowed from the tax collector to the accountant so that a check was cut for reimbursement. That's what my question is. A bill okay. schedule just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. She submitted the form with the documentation and the mileage. I okay. actually used Lois's form that was on, on my computer. For mileage. <coughs> it's probably the and it did it. I'm just And I'm just asking, it, did it have individual dates and miles driven? We have a question on the chair. Super quick. The only Sorry. problem with the dates in the original submission is that shouldn't be general knowledge to the, to the town as to when this person is driving with money in the car. No. So that's why the original dates weren't originally mm. submitted. So it's Got a little it. bit outside of normal. Yeah, it is a little outside right. of yeah. normal, isn't it? But those we're, dates can vary. You know, and depending on yeah, if she's received cash what or like so, you know. Madam okay. Chairman, do we have, are we prepared for town meeting? We can go on all night. Yeah. Are we prepared for town meeting? Do we understand how much mileage that the tax collector yeah, tax needs, needs to do her job? Do we know that figure? Well, of course, that's going to vary from year to year depending on do what she have, takes in. It's in, it's in her expense. It's do, do, do it's you have, she averaged had, about 1.7 times a week. <clears throat> so does the advisor, <laughs> Madam Chair, does the advisory, chair, advisory committee have knowledge of what the expenses are for the tax collector for mileage for the next yes, fiscal year? Yes, the answer is yes. 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 Okay. Do, we, do we have any other information that needs to be provided to no. the advisory committee yeah. from the tax collector? Um, um, I don't, I'll, I'll leave that part up to him, yeah. but one question that I had was, um, 
policy about when you go to the bank if you have cash. Because apparently, at, well, you were at that meeting, I wasn't. Um, so maybe you should, because oh, is money can. supposed to be kept in the building or is it supposed to be deposited that day that you take it in? Depending because there has been theft. It depends on the amount. Yeah, okay, it depends then on what the would amount be a, of the money that is taken in. And what would be the amount that would necessitate we did, a visit? We did, we did not label an amount. Yeah, we didn't what, label an amount. What, what we said was that if we were uncomfortable with an amount, of, we didn't want any money in the in the, no, in in the, the building. In the building. I believe it's written as like their earliest convenience. It, it, it's yeah. the, that's, how we, that's how we did it. But the point right. was that we did not want money in this building. All right, Correct. Yeah, right. I, I, okay. Um, so then, I'm, if, this, if money on. isn't wanted in the building, then more frequent, I would imagine, trips yes, need to be. That's why she needs well, to yeah, go. More frequently than my gas mileage That's well. yeah. That's not an issue. Well, our previous so. collector that we had before Brenda, she used to make a trip to the bank every day okay. because she had, you know, she had checks. She didn't have any check reader back right. then, right. and she. And she had cash, so every day she would make a trip down to Hometown Bank, and nobody ever questioned that before. Because right, these were, I, they were legitimate trips that she went. Yeah. And then a lot of times she would go and she'd always come back, and she, she would stay here till 3 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. All right, first of all, the procedure book, our famous procedure book, Clarence. Yep. If you look at it, it, first of all, it states that any and all money is to be given gone to the bank with the tax, uh, with the treasurer. If you look at that, and it also says in another paragraph, anything over twenty-five cents cannot be has to be brought to the treasurer. It's in the book, so that's not even in in, in the procedures. Not even in there for her to go. That's just one aspect of the whole thing here on your procedure book. Number two, the reason this whole thing came about. We're not trying to pick on any one individual in this town. I don't have any personal problems with her. What has happened is she came to our, she presented our, her budget, and she stated that she was going to the bank on Fridays. But before this, any and all money has to be brought to the bank, she said, okay? But she's not working Fridays. But yet she says in, in her document to the advisory board, that she was going to the bank on Fridays for two hours. So then we, we said, wait a minute now, this, this is something inaccurate here. So she's, she's got two hours in there that she's going, plus she says that she's going to the bank. So we said, okay, let's see if we can verify this. Maybe it's just a mistake. That's why we wanted the bank deposit slips. Then I got said, oh, I'm elected, I don't need it. Oh, you're gonna mug me, you're gonna rob me. Those are the questions, I'm too busy. I gotta do tax collections. Mm -hmm. okay, Madam okay. Chairman, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. may I finish, Clarence? We're talking truth here, and I know you hate the truth, but let me speak. Oh, let me right, just speak. Stop. Okay. okay. I'm That's just trying to right sit. There. All right. That's I'm it. sorry. I'm, okay. So, we wanted verification. Okay. That's the reason we asked for the bank deposit slips. Okay. And I guess from what I haven't seen the thing that they went to um, Thursday night, the, well, the other member has it. I haven't seen that yet, but from what I've been told, it was only one slip to the bank on Friday, maybe two, okay? So when we get documentation from a town employee, we try to trust them, okay? But when we get documents, and it says completely opposite, and she's not working those hours on Friday, but yet she's going to the bank, and you can't go to the bank unless you're taking money in that day. So that's why this all came about. And now it's getting blown out, and we're putting the barrage up, to cover this and we're just trying to get documentations our board works very very hard in there we're not just rubber stamping stuff we're trying to analyze i wanted to analyze more but we just didn't have the time so you want no. exactly what dates and times I go no. To the bank. no 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 if you, you listen you to the <clears throat> bank on what difference does it make? go ahead let me speak no 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 no, no. just you tell her answer her question why do you friday? care about her going to the bank on friday yeah why do I care I if you're going to the bank on Friday sometimes? Okay. Sometimes. You, said, it's, you stated to us, you gave us documentation mm -hmm. that you said you were going to the banks every Friday and it was taking two hours. Correct. When I was working Friday, I went every Friday. 
You haven't worked Fridays in a long time, Brenda. Did you hear that? Yeah. 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 All right, right. I did. And I have added but, those hours okay. during the week. And I took your advice, Dave, and I took my lunch break. Like, you, like I said, I don't take a lunch okay. break. I went home for lunch, and I came back half an hour later. There was four people surrounding my desk. Yeah. So yeah. I think I know how to do my job better than you two think you know how to do okay. my job. Okay. So I, I I'm going to finish speaking. I'm not done yet. Yes. You asked the questions. Well, Wait a minute now. You asked the questions of why our board got into this and why we haven't done it with another department. Okay? And just I just explained that to you. All right, because I mean, we can sit here all night no. and go back and forth. No, no, we're trying, to clear, we're trying to clear the air and, and, and get something resolved here. And this is, this is what took and place, and this is why it took place. Madam and, Chairman, yes. I would make a recommendation. Since how we have a trained auditor, uh, auditor in our mm -hmm. purview, yes. and who has already done an extensive audit of another mm -hmm. department to the satisfaction of this board, that we turn to that tr auditor yes. and have her work with the tax collector to assure that documentation's in place. Yes. Okay. I think that's a good idea. report back to this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Report back. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, I've submitted to the advisor. Is that a motion? That's a motion. Because that's I've already second. put in about 15 hours. Okay. All these requests okay. from the, that board. It's, it's the, the, the other part that needs to be, the other part that needs to be cleared up is that three, the, a few of the visits and requests have come from Mr. Falter. Okay. He was not sent by the advisory to make those visits. He did that on his own, okay? We're not looking to bug anybody any more than, than we have to. Unfortunately, after the first time that he went and he brought us some information, he was advised not to do it again without advisory permission, and he did so anyway. We thought it was only twice. According to Brenda, the total amount was three times. We weren't trying to cause the issue. These multiple requests for information were causing the issue three more times than we authorized that they be asked. Okay? So that, that was unfortunate, very unfortunate. Okay, now I, and, you know, so, we just can't keep going back and forth. No, no, with absolutely. Us. And then we've already, we've gone through, we've called town council many times. We've mm -hmm. gotten town council's mm -hmm. opinion. I mean, that has to stop because okay. people are always complaining. We spend so much money on town council. Mm -hmm. And this is why, because all these little things that come up all the time. Well, this is an important well, thing. Madam Chairman, may I speak? All we asked for is bank deposit slips. Why was the problem in getting bank deposit slips? Because you've already admitted to your own board that you stalked me. I stalk you? That's an out and out okay, lie, too. That's a lie, too. Brenda, Dave, no, I, I think that's a lie. Okay, well, we that's an out and out lie. Okay, okay. That's, enough. That's, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Do we want to go on with our motion? Okay. What we have is a motion before the floor that the, ch that the auditor, finance person who audits and is trained mm -hmm. to do audits, to review mileage within the tax collector's <clears throat> purview. So that's the first thing. Then I would then turn to the advisory committee and ask the advisory committee if there's any other information that they require of the tax collector. Is there anything left? Well, so, the, the, this, I'll just, which I don't think it matters. To prepare, no. to prepare ahead, for town ahead, meeting, are you, do you have from the tax collector? May I answer the question there, I'm Mr. Clarence? I'm just phrasing the question. Mike's I had to go to the state, to, and I was ordered, she was ordered by the state for me to review the documents, not two other people, okay? Now, we have, this town has to go to that extreme just to get bank deposit slips to the finance board? There's something wrong. What's it say here? Let me read this, though, now that you read. Thing, I'm speaking, oh, okay. I'm speaking right now. Thank you. Uh, Dave, that's In the discharge of duty, said committee shall have free access to all books or records and accounts having to do with the financial affairs of the town, including bills, vouchers on which money has been or may be paid from from the town treasury. But it doesn't say anything doesn't about deposits. We did, we're talking about deposit slips. That's, that's, that's a voucher. Request for information deposit from the committee. Deposit slips are not a voucher. Okay, it's not, okay, it's in here though, just listen. From the committee shall be responded to by town officers, boards, committees or departments in a reasonable manner, okay, and in a reasonable time frame. However, the provision of such access, including requests for information 
shall not unduly interfere with the conduct of the official town business or the ability of town employees to perform the functions of their positions. So, right. and, if, and if we were given, if we were given the information from the get-go, there would be no interference and we wouldn't even be talking about this. She's been trying to, she, she does her job. She works above and beyond a lot of Linda, hours that no, she's here. No, Linda, no. don't go there. All we, all we asked for was bank deposit slips based on what you gave us. But it doesn't her say bank deposit slip. You don't have a typical deposit slip. Now, I could explain that to the cows in the even we're talking about when you actually I totally go to the bank. What you're saying, Brenda. We're talking when you go okay. actually to the bank. Okay. This okay. is the, this and is that the board, report the does not jive. Okay. This, the chair yeah. has. This is. I think we should end this conversation right here right now. And what are we going to? Okay. So what's going to be the conclusion and how are we going to okay, improve? Like, what's the improvement going to be next time, Linda? Well, that was already stated. The, well, yes, Carrie. Carrie is going to work with her, and she is going to be doing an audit. And she's going to be of all the mileage slips, and then we'll see if those are what you're for your satisfaction. Right. And they okay. have to be. I thought that's what the, the two of them went in there on Thursday was, was to do. I was not no, 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 Carrie was wasn't. No, Carrie wasn't. No, I meant two people from the board went in to see her on Thursday. I thought that was resolved Thursday. Sounds like it's not. I don't think it was resolved from what I heard Is that about it. I, I, haven't it seen, I haven't seen well, Steve's report, so well, I don't know. That's, that's what I thought too. Well, that's what Steve told you, and and he didn't really have a right to we say to, that until this came back to the board, and right. we got a decision from okay, the full board. We have board. to make a decision now so. on our vote. What's the decision going to be on? No. Okay, oh. Mr. Snyder would what, like what, to make the motion again. What, I want to be very clear. Yes. I was going to a second half of the motion because yep. I thought it important mm -hmm. that was there any additional information that was missing. So, are we prepared for town? Is the tax collector? line items in place for town meeting yes yes i think yes. they are okay. okay end of discussion make the motion that we have to carry through the audit and move on okay uh any and i'll second that and uh, yeah. we've already had our discussion and so all in favor aye. Aye. aye we're over there okay What's next? Okay, our next one is um, we're going to do our um, correspondence so that we can finish up oh. and we can get on to do no. our joint we meeting with the advisory board. Right. We had something here from Mass Dot, oh. and the highway yes. has a. Mm -hmm. Can I have a quiet, please? We have something here from MassDOT. It was a uh, bridge inspection was done at, by, on the Quaybog Street and the Dunbrook Bridge, and uh, this was a this was a part of um, municipal municipal bridges that are owned on the by the town, and so this is all this is. And Herb already has a copy of it. Yep. Okay. And we got approval to start moving forward. Yes. We, yes. Oh, we did. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. the approval and, to start going forward. The bid, and they're I know the, the bid. bid. Yeah, because Cindy sent the bid. Yep. Okay. And now this is a vote to allow the Tri Community YMCA to use the South Pond Beach for swimming lessons from 710 to 721 of 17. And I'd like to uh, a motion. Need, need for a motion. That. Need a motion for that. Sure. Second. Any any discussion? No. And they we have had some discussion last week. Yeah. And so they have agreed to make a two hundred dollar donation to the um, to come to pay for the porta potty. Great. All right. Any discussion on that? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then this one is also this is from Tantasco Regional High School. Uh, it says uh, Mr. Herb Chafee, Highway Superintendent, Town of Brookfield. Dear, dear Herb. On behalf of the administration and students of Brookfield, I extend our appreciation for the assistance and support provided to you and the highway department crew for the town of Brookfield, ensuring safe roads and passage over the winter. Thank you again for an excellent work you do. Sincerely, Aaron M. Nosework, E.D., Superintendent of Schools. That was very nice of you to send that. Okay, and this is another one for Charter. Okay, 
On, on or about June 20th of this year, the following music choice channels will be added. Love songs on channel 1920, romances on 1940, stage and screen on channel 1942, and classic masterpiece channel on 1949. If you have any questions, you can call Anna Lucy at 774-243-9735 or her email address is anna.lucy at charter.com. And that's all that we have here. So now we'll move on to, uh, we're going to reopen, we're going to open the special town meeting. Warren. We have a motion we'll to have a motion. Open. A second. Second. We're going to open the special. Got to open the joint. Yeah. Second. Second. It's a joint. Yeah. Got to open it as a joint meeting. It's yeah. open. So, all right. Yeah. Time. Do you each have, Karen, did you give them all coffees or are they right here? Okay. All right. Both of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eat a chair. Oh, they're all Each one has a Oh, each one? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. All right, all right. Everybody has a pick. Okay. Okay. Well, there may there may be um right. There the there, there may be some more at the end. I had a problem. I was trying to send you the second half. Oh, but no, I mean, what I did is I went with the special and the annual. Yeah. And I put a copy of each in the chairman's mailbox, so I just wanted to make sure that you received it. I think, I think he got it. Okay. Now, this doesn't include the changes? It doesn't include the changes. It does include? Say, yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying is at, toward the end there may be. Um, well, this is just a draft. Yeah. So yep. certain ones that I still don't, I, I want to confirm whether or not. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to be clear yeah, about. Okay. Carrie, would you like to come up and join too if there's some questions for you? Do I have to? No, you don't have to. You, but can, sit, you can sit right where you are. You can sit right where you are, but I didn't know if you wanted to come up and join. Okay, our first article here for the special town meeting is article number one. To see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from this from the assessor's consulting services account to the assistant assessor wage account, or take any action relative thereto, and the amount is $2,500. And the reason for this is the shortfall is due to the extra amount of hours required to be worked by the assistant assessor above what was originally budgeted for the FY 2017 wages. The extra hours were required due to the work time missed by the working members of the huh? Board of Assessors, totaling 32.5 weeks, or 487.5 hours, during quarters one and quarters two of fiscal 2017. And this is just a transfer from you know one account to the other. Right, and we we'll don't people. have special. Being out, the only people be out. absences who had to work these out to do the job. So I'll make a motion that we support it. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor. Any discussion on that? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Article 2. Well, it's the advisory board. Oh, the advisory board. I'm sorry. Um, just to be clear, you're on this special right now? Yes, the special. We okay. just opened the special. And he doesn't have a copy of that. We just have the annual. I don't, yeah, I just, I just told him that maybe that's where he's going is to get it. So article one. So we'll wait for days if you. Did you find it? No. Okay, I put both in there. All right, I'm going to put it together. Okay, I'll make these copies for everybody. Hey, David, there are two iterations of that. Which is the correct? The special comes before the end. The specials oh, okay. are both special, but they're both uh, different iterations. Oh, so you know what must have happened? Is I assume that maybe you have an old copy in you? Right. Yeah, yeah. This is the good one. This is one that you worked on last time. This is the good one. Yeah. So you do. So what do you have? Is that the, yep. So you do have the special. 
He does. So let me have one. I'm going to go make some. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay can we take a brief recess? Can we take yeah, a brief recess? Hmm? Yep. Till we do that. Me too. I'll make a motion to do a recess. Okay. Second. Okay. Aye. Okay, we're back on. There's a few other discrepancies too, but. Okay, you know. we're going to start on Article Two is it again. No, we, they need to tell us about one. Oh, you had, you need to tell us on number one what what you have decided. Uh, special. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we did that. Shortfalls due to absences. Due to absences? Yes, it was absences yeah. with the other board of assessors. One of them was okay. out. Okay. He was he was sick and um, so that, that's Well, this is your, this is back in the summer then. Okay. Continue. Continue. Yes. I, I think we we were all in agreement for yes. this, right? Mm -hmm. Someone yeah. will entertain a motion to accept that article one on the special? I will. Okay. All in favor? Aye. No, okay. you need a second. Second, yeah. Who's second it? Okay. We don't have Tony. We might have one outside for now. Okay. We're all, we're, all, we're all in favor of that, Linda. We're all in favor of it. Okay. Okay, our next one is to see if the town will, it's Article 2, to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from stabilization account <clears throat> to the assistant assessor wages account or take any action relative there too. And the amount is $964.38. And I had talked to Carrie earlier in the day when I was in, and I talked about maybe there could be in our expenditure ledger, maybe, you know, there could be some money in there yes, that we could use other, yeah, uh, for yeah. other counts so that we don't have to go into stabilization. Yeah. And didn't you tell me municipal fuel? Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of money left in municipal fuel, yes. but I don't know what will be coming for uh, the, the next few bills, but yeah. I'm, I'm you, you're you probably, you're probably safe in the diesel. I, mean, I would get with, I would get with Cindy and yeah. take a look at what their historic oh, end the of the year is. Um, okay. Karen gets the bills, so yeah. Yeah, oh, Karen, I yeah, even with her, but I yeah, Karen gets the money. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's the gas. The gas. This is uh, for the there's gas. There's money in both both accounts. Yeah. yeah. Either one. Yeah, so, so we would we would want to do a transfer. I well, think. Why wouldn't we do that as just a municipal? Oh, because it's going. No, see the what the this it. is. Yeah, see yeah. what this is. This is the cleanup back of all your accounts for oh, the end of the oh, year. Oh, absolutely. I was just wondering why we weren't using just an emergency yeah. municipal transfer. So that would we could probably truth. have that come out of the municipal fuel. Is that the account, Carrie? Um, if it's not municipal fuel, there are other accounts that that do have uh, excess that I'm sure we. Okay, so, so do, do, we want to phrase, do, do we want to phrase the article to transfer a sum of money to and just take the from account out of the warrant article? No, the way we normally do it, though, it would be to say um, transfer a sum of money from the, uh, say, municipal fuel account to the assistant assessor wage account. That is how we usually word these. Okay. Transfer a sum of money. But, but can we put municipal fuel if we're not sure that that's the account you're going to use? There's money in both of those okay. accounts. Yeah. So yeah. That was the only. You know, like you're talking nine, what, not a thousand bucks yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would come from municipal fuel. Mm. Okay, I'll make the motion we approve. Mm. Second. Okay. Uh, okay. Any okay. discussion? Can I entertain here? a motion? Someone want a second to uh, accept this? Right. It's not going to come out of stabilization, now. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Which is good. We had that question last night. Do you want to do that motion, Bob? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're going to second oh, it. Okay. I am. Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll put it in the motion. We'll, yeah, we'll put it, we will put this in the motion. We're just going to put to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money to the, uh, to the, to the assistant assessor's wage account or take any action there, too. And then put municipal fuel. Then we'll put the municipal fuel. That will go into the motion. And the same thing, unlike even with number one, the thing that will say that it's coming from the consulting services to the assistant assessor <coughs> wages, that amount of money too. Okay. So, or did you all? Uh, you guys good you for guys two? Also, you guys yeah, we're on board. We're unanimous. We we support it as long as it doesn't come out of stabilization and you prepare. Yeah, that. Okay. Well, we didn't know really what it would come out of, so that's right. why we had put yeah. stabilization in. Okay, and this one is also to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money to the Board of Assessors' salary account to pay for an FY17 wage shortage or take any relative action thereof. 
and that amount is $2,793.71. The reason for this is when a new member was elected to the Board of Assessors in May of 2016, the Board of Assessors neglected to pay him for a two-month period of May and June. The sum represents what he was owed for two-month period and what he was paid in March of 2017 when the issue was resolved. And this is this is probably something we could probably take that out of municipal fuel also. I don't think there's another account. No, so we'd have to find another account where we can take that out of. Well, we don't really have to, you know, figure it out tonight. Right. If you want to, if you want to, can look up. Yeah, we can look that up. Look, yeah, as long as we don't, I, I really don't care to take it out of stabilization. I'd like yeah. to there's, leave the um, money there. There's money in the treasurer's account under the tax title account. Yeah. We got eight thousand in there. Yeah. Carrie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like sixty five hundred in there. Is that well we saw we saw about that eight thousand. That was that was on April. Four, As four. of April fourth there was eight thousand. Yeah, I think some stuff. What is it now? What, well, you what still got you could still take it out of there. I mean that's up to you, Carrie, you know. I'll, I'll look Carrie, but yeah. yeah. So it's a possibility we can take it out of the treasurer's tax title? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll put that in turn. Yeah, just a question on that. Did, um, did you guys fund any money for tax title for next year? We put 10 back in again. Mm -mm. Excellent. No, we did. That, that no, would be an issue, so that's, yeah, we did. that would be doing good. We cut it back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We, cut no. it. We, we did put some money in it. We cut it back. I'm sorry. Yeah. What did we put? 3,500? I think. Mm -hmm. Well, well we was because wait. we don't know that there's going to be anybody there to be able to do tax We figured in November we could put some more in if you okay. needed it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Do you want to take it out of tax title or do you want to wait, Carrie? Um, the tax title should be okay. Okay, treasurer's yeah. tax I'll title. Okay. Okay, and uh, uh, we'll... we'll so we have a motion. We have we a motion. Have yes. Any discussion on it? Okay, on okay. okay. So we want to entertain a motion to accept Aye. this. Okay. They're not going to take it out of stabilization, so... Okay, okay. Second. second, please. Hello, second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, moving on to Article 4, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of money to the well testing account or take any action therefore, too. And they need uh, $1,005. And, and what the explanation on is, the DEP is required an extra test at the well site due to the presence of 1.4 dioxin found in the test. This is the third time in the last three years that the DEP has mandated this. It should be noted that this has been found consistently throughout the years in the testing, but only recently by the DEP required extra testing, which always shows the same results. Our board has asked for a waiver of this extra testing, and the DEP is reviewing our requests now. By the way, this element is not a threat because there are no wells within 500 feet of the landfill cap. If the DEP denies our request for a waiver, we will be requesting additional money on an annual basis for this account. So if this is waived, there's a possibility that we can pass over this article. So would this... Will we know by town is, meeting if it'll be... Yeah, I'm sure we will know by town okay. meeting. We'll have to... We'll oh, keep DEP? up with Mike. No, we I, don't I, know. I, I dealing no. with those guys with water. <laughs> you don't know when you're going to get an answer, so you better be prepared to just pay, okay. be prepared to pay the. And if and if we do, and if something happens, say that they did. Oh yeah. Maybe. After the meeting, then we could just rescind the vote in the fall. Or table it. Yeah, or table it. Yeah, uh -huh. So, uh, Carrie, is this also something that we could take out of the treasurer's tax title? It's a. Um, I don't, I don't have think so. Figures in front of me, but. Um, so well, three thousand. Yeah, there's probably enough. There's about eight thousand in there. Well, no, that was in April. She's saying oh. now it's only six. Okay. So that's going to be too so much. So you have a ledger. Do you want a ledger, Karen? Yeah. Everyone should just send yeah. that. The new one, yeah. We just got the new ledger today. Huh? Yeah. So this is another possibility, and if and if they. And if we do vote the money, we can always rescind the vote in November or whenever we have our spe uh, the special in the fall and just rescind the vote. What is the uh, reserve fund currently earmarked for between now and the end of the year, the first? No, no, reserve fund, no. Uh, Dave, 
What? Reserve fund? What's How much that? is in there right now? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's we had twenty-five thousand, right but I mean, there's nineteen thousand left. Right. Is there a plan for that nineteen thousand? Uh, they're talking about using thirteen of it, I think, for the furnace. So there'd be six thousand dollars left. Yeah. I yeah. Said Did he say fifteen? So. Just somewhere around fifteen. But the for only the thing I think is a good idea to leave that on in there in case something does come up after town Good meeting point. and we have yeah. to have our municipal transfers. Good point. So I wouldn't take I think there's going to be a little, there'll be places to get money from. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I mean, I would leave We could take something out of the reserve I'll, fund. I'll get you the accounts for sure before, way before the town meeting. But yeah, the there's, biggest, there's money we can take out. Yeah, the there's a lot of accounts. Okay. The biggest challenge is we've got to publish the warrant 14 days prior to town meeting, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah. Yeah, something okay. like that, uh, yes. So our, yeah. our drop dead date for having well, those accounts would be next week. Yeah. I'll, I'll prioritize it tomorrow. Okay. Because yeah. we said we were going to try to meet on the 31st again to go over. Will that's, we have enough that's time? Not, that doesn't give you 14 days. It doesn't no. give you 14 days. That's what I'm saying tonight. <laughs> this Friday is 14. It'll be by this Friday. Yeah, by this Friday is 14 days. We might have to do a meeting Thursday to ratify And it has to be printed by Friday? Well, no, a just, copy. A copy oh. needs to be printed in like A copy just, okay. this is what we're so going to print. So that can be done here. That could be done yep. here. You can print out a copy, stick it on the, on the board. And in the post and, office. And technically right. post oh, you mean, yes. Oh, you mean the warrant. Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about printing the book itself. No. Oh, no, no, no. that's what I thought no. you were talking about. Oh, no, just I know. Legal I'm, stuff. Just, I'm, yes. just, I'm saying we yeah, need I know to make a special, sure Yes, a special needs to be printed at least 10 days before and an annual is 7. Oh, so it's 10. That gives us four more ten days. days. It's 10 more days for a special. Yeah. Beth, I was town clerk okay. for 22 no, 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 years. No, no, no. I, 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 I have 10. You got it was two weeks. I'm sorry. No, so it's, it's, ten, it's 10 days. It's 10 days. It's 10 days. It's 10 days. So, so we're good. It's, it's no, it's good. Did, no, it's good discussion. All right, right. And then it's seven, seven for an annual. Okay, okay for so 10 we're, days for the meeting we have. Sure we yeah. Right. No, no, it's good that you brought it up. Okay, where's your sticky, Karen? You had the date. No, okay, right. they have to be posted by 526. Uh, yeah, that's, is that Friday? Is it? Yeah, it's two weeks from Does anybody, yeah, it might, might be going away, so we really have to get everything ready for Thursday. And what about the holiday? That doesn't count, right? Mm. Oh, no, we're just no, counting, just, we're day just day counting day. days anyway. That no. won't yeah. affect. No, yeah. what I, no, that doesn't affect it with the holiday. Right. The only thing a holiday affects is with the new open meeting laws. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't affect the holiday. Okay. Carrie? The tax title has enough to cover that um, article for. Okay. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, so we do have to have. So we're going to print this tonight. Yeah, this has to be printed tonight. We'll get it done. We will. This, this will It'll, It'll, tonight. Yeah, because the thing is, we don't have to, we don't have to put in the money. We just have to put the right. articles themselves. Right. Or, or the, or the uh, explanations either. No, you don't need the explanations right. either. You just so we'll need just the articles it. printed. So we're at four. I have a motion that we approve Article 4. Okay. I'll make second. 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 Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. Um, no, we already voted last night where it's coming that? from. Um, we voted favor? last night on this, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're all set. Well, well, yeah, but yep. we supported it. Yeah. Right, but we could redo Article it five. now. Article no. 5. Just so I have it in the notes. No, we did it last night. We supported it last night. Okay. Article 5. Okay. To see if the town will transfer a sum of money to the transfer station expense account or take any action relative there, too. And they need five thousand dollars. And they, what the explanation is, we anticipate a shortage of about five thousand dollars in this account this year. We just paid Casella Waste System six thousand one hundred thirty dollars for April, and only have seven thousand three hundred twenty-five dollars left in our expense account. The board anticipated the shortage when we met with the advisory board earlier this year. The shortage is due to the fact that we have increased expenses over the last two years regarding our electronic waste costs. Yes. And so I have a motion. Have to a motion. Yeah. Second. Okay. Yeah. And they're, the discussion now the discussion is on it. Where are we going to get the money for this? Where's the money going to come from? Um, do we know what we have left coming for municipal fuel expenses? Any ideas? I don't know. I have to look. I don't know. You know. Me too. Well, how much is left there? How much is in the average? Oh. And then what about the I think we got enough in there. So if we have enough, what did you take out? Thousand already
Well, there was a thousand. So it's down to twelve. Yes. And five. I should. I should. Seven five. should be okay. Yeah. I, think, I should think you should do. Because we've already gotten Maysville. You should be uh, good, uh, Carrie. Uh, Carrie, should be I, good. No, Carrie, my recommendation would be to, to tentatively put it down for fuel mm. and then to look at last year's expenditures in that account, um, you know, the, the May, June, and just make sure there's at least a 15% buffer because I think we're a little higher than we were last year. Right. Okay. If that one doesn't work, we'll, we'll figure it okay. out. Okay. Okay, now, there's uh, plenty uh, in there, I think. Yeah. Now, I talk, now I, this is to the advisory board have. They, have you talked to them to putting more money into this line item for next so, year? So we, uh, we talked to them and uh, mm -hmm. we, we believe we put a little more money in for, for next year. Okay. But uh, we wanted to address the reason why we're so much higher. Two years ago it was $1,800 to remove uh, electronics and this year it's, mm -hmm. it's at or above $10,000. It's a huge difference. Oh my uh, some of the issues that we're finding is that uh, a couple of years ago they had a company that was charging six hundred dollars every time they came and emptied the dumpster. If they didn't empty at least three times, they're going to charge us a six hundred dollar rental fee for the dumpster if we didn't have it emptied enough times. So no one wanted to pay uh, if we didn't we reach that. So we changed companies. So instead of the old company coming for six hundred dollars and putting down every dumpster, mm -hmm. and the new one. The new company now comes with a team of four guys. They open the side of the dumpster and it takes them four or five hours with dollies that manually unload everything. So the loads are costing a lot more money. The loads themselves are costing between $1,000 and $2,000 a load. Another problem mm -hmm. uh, oh, we're having right. down there is, uh, <laughs> and we've addressed this with, with them mm -hmm. as well, um, some, of what we're, some of what we're being charged for things uh, we don't charge enough when we take, you know, th this really should be a self-sufficient dumpster. We charge people to drop the electronics off and we get paid. I mean, we, we get charged. It really should be a wash. We, we should go pay for, they should go pay for it themselves whether they get fees. Um, one of the problems is they haven't raised the fees in a while because they, they get personal backlash when people come to the landfill. They, as if they're personally attacking them. They feel you know, like, like the town, you know, a lot of people in town are, you know, very forceful about them raising the fees, which they are coming out with a new fee schedule on uh, July 1st. One of the other issues that I've noticed down at the dump, and I've watched this go on many times, and I brought this to their attention, is there's a gentleman who hangs out down there and takes all the stuff out of the give or take that he wants to go resell and throws it in his car. But he also, if he finds electronics in the give or take section, he cuts the cords off and puts them in a big bin in the back of his car so he can strip them down and take copper and just picks up whatever the electronic thing is and walks the electronic dumpster and just throws it in there himself. I well, I'm thinking a carpet cleaner in there one day. That's not what it's meant to be. No, that's no, that's not what people are supposed to be doing. Down no, there. right. No, it should and be I stopped. brought this up to them. Uh, right, I spoke to Dan about it. Dan said he would talk to me about it. I spoke to Mike Siri about it. He also said he talked to me about it. And the guy who's doing it is now running the controls of the dumpster down there. So now I guess he's on payroll down there. But <sighs> well, I, I just saw him do it again two weeks ago. Well, I watched. Well, I sat my car. He's an employee now. He's an employee. Well, he's double decking. While my kids in the book bin getting books, I sat in my car for 15 minutes and I watched him cut seven cords. It must People would drop some off. He'd look around. He'd cut it. He throws it in the dumpster. He puts the cord in the back of his car. I went over there and there was a radio sitting there with no cord on it. Had a cord that just plugs in. And he pulled the cord out and just threw it in the car and left the radio sitting. So I walked over, and I, I watched him do it, and I walked over and I go, do you just take the cord for this radio? He was like, well, the cord's no good. If you want it, I'll get it for you, but it's no good. It's got a little frame on it, so, but that'll be good for, you know, I was like, well, no one's gonna want about the cord, you know? So he picked it up and walked away, went and threw the electronics. He just throws the electronics down and throws Well, he shouldn't be down there for so his own personal interest. That's costing us money. You yeah. think about yeah. all those electronics yep. that we're paying for every piece of electronics yep. that we're not getting money for to come in, and now they're getting thrown in there. I would guarantee, and I, I mean, I, I have no doubt to back this up, but just from what I've seen alone watching mm -hmm. this guy, this guy personally costs this town money. Yeah, of course he is. You know? So I have talked to Dan and Mike about him. They both said they were going to talk to him, but like I said, I went there two weeks ago and he's in front of the controls now, so I don't even know what's going on. But uh, that, I think that should be, there's got to be a stop to that, you know. Uh, so after speaking with Mike Siri, a couple weeks ago, I spoke to, we spoke to him last night. Last night we talked. He has reached out to the original company that we were using. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for a response back from them. And he wants to go back to the original company. Because we are incurring more electronics as people, you know, more and more and more are switching over their electronics at home. Yeah. They're getting newer computers. The older computers are bigger. They're getting new TVs. And some people still have those old, big, bulky TVs. They have a lot of room. So as people are upgrading their electronics in their life, we're starting to take on more electronics at the landfill. Mm -hmm. So, 
either way, it's going to we are taking on more loads. But uh, so Mike is now trying to get back to the original company, and hopefully that will chop way back down and get them back. On and board. I think uh, I think tomorrow I'll talk to Mike about that gentleman sure. that's doing that down there at the at the lake. So he shouldn't be doing that. So the other issue that we have is that we continue and we'll continue to have it is that when we did the Earth Day, I, I picked, personally picked up three TVs that were, over, they were, they were over the side on Rice Corner Cross. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and there's another half dozen that were on uh, Mill ridiculous. Street. And that's one of the other issues that, 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 that we did discuss, Dan and I, or Dan and the board discussed, um, is, you know, he said, it's kind of a catch-22. If you raise prices, people just throw stuff on the side of the road. You know, and, and you know, it's like, well, they're going to throw it anyways, but yeah, I mean, the same, but if they, know, and if they get caught, and, they can be fined. Right. Uh, but so catching that, them know, is the. He said that is that is an issue too, is that they, 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 you know, and they I didn't want to raise it because they didn't want the litter to go up. And, and maybe I'm special, but they charge me if I leave a working TV in the give and take just because it might wind up in the electronics bill. Well, that's, right. so. that's what we discussed last night. Yeah, that, well, <laughs> it well, should be I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah, for everyone. It, it, you mean you're not kidding? You're not kidding. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you leave it in the give and take. Yep. I think that should, I, I, should I, be. Yeah. Even for, I didn't think. Yeah. They so, 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 so they were. So, so they do if sometimes charge for that. Sometimes. Well, it's got to be more consistent. Okay, okay guys. Okay. I'd say. Just okay, yeah. I guess this is so. it. All right. We're so, good. We're good. Did you yeah, take we it? Voted yeah. last, yeah. We voted last night to support this. Okay. All right. Okay. And so this is it. So I think we'll close now the wand. Now you guys got all the animals. So I'd like a motion to entertain to close the wand. Special you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. So that's all done. Okay. Let's see here. Did we all get this from Marie if we wanted to? Oh, that's your email and that you run um, yeah. the update. It's, a, it's an updated no, email yeah, from. Yeah. Um, there's more that they said that At the end. Know. At the oh, end. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'd like to entertain a motion to reopen the annual town meeting. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Because we have a couple here to discuss. Okay. We weren't going to vote these as a block because. We'll let, let, we need let, some let, things yeah. to be changed. Okay. Do we want to go over the ones that we're adding first? Well, well, let's just go right to the top. The blocks, let's go right through. Oh, we'll, we'll, oh, we'll go line. right through it. Okay. All right. Well, 13, I believe it was. 11 also. 11. And 13. 11. So 11 is the first one. Okay. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Eleven to see if the town will authorize me something. For we were under the understanding that this was defunct. Well, without a treasurer, we can't verify whether or not the revolving fund that supports this, even though the highway regional highway cooperative equipment pool of equipment is not necessarily still an active entity, the revolving fund may still exist. And what that, we need to find out where the funds are and find out what the procedures are for um, Cindy said that she said there wasn't in, was well, it Cindy may have, but until we've got our books straightened out and we've verified what money yeah, the treasurer well. has where, we can't we can't basically make this article go away until we validated our. If there's a penny, we want it to fund, go away. But <laughs> I, I, well, regardless of how we feel about it, that, yeah, that needs to stay on there until we clarify if, if any funds exist in any account anywhere right. before we decommission yeah. it. So yeah, it, it hurts the it hurts the town not at all because we don't put any money in a revolving fund. A revolving fund, by definition, is self-supported by any fees collected. Yeah, coming in so, and going out. So okay. it does nothing to us or for us to, to get rid of it. To get rid of it puts us at risk. To leave it there does no harm. So let's right. leave it there. But it is estimated that this will eventually be be done away with. Right. I think with the reconcile the reconciliation that, that I understand the accountant to be trying to do with all the accounts, mm -hmm. that would be part of the account cleanup that would go on between those offices. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I would imagine that we would have to have all of those items on the fall 
Um, we're we're going to have a massive fall. Yeah. Yeah, we are because we don't know. So I think we're going to have to pass over a lot of these. We're going to have to pass over most yeah. everything, quite frankly, because I mean, well, we maybe, maybe not. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, you need a shovel. Okay, now you need like, a shovel. Let me know. Okay, mm -hmm. on Article 13 here, I talked to Cindy about this this morning. She says basically what this is, and she says it could almost. Didn't she say it could be almost passed over this morning? because she just wants people to see just how much money is spent on following private roads. It's $15,000, that's how much is spent. And I want to make the point that I want people to come before ground freezes, that their road is okay, and that all the people on the road say that they want to do this. Because last year, the person I had to say no to was the guy at the other end of the road said no. Said and no what? To, because he, he didn't want the, the town on his road. No, he didn't want the town on his road. So got one lady at one end that needed the help. The guy at the end of it, why they don't get along, I don't know. The reality was I had to tell that lady no, that the mm -hmm. answer was no. Oh, well. And so this is to educate those kinds of folks yeah, to get along. I, 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 unfortunately, we, I don't think it serves that purpose. I don't either. I think okay. it leaves it open to being voted on the floor to put $15,000. No, she told me that this 15000 is already in there. Oh, it is. It's, it's in the, the money. It's in the 75000 yeah, in the snow I get, and ice. Yeah. I get up and I do my rant. You guys vote to table. It's table. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, yeah. No, this is why she's doing this. But, exactly. But that's and not... And then it just goes back to a dollar. That's not us voting to table it. Yeah. This has to go before the town. Sure, but right. we, we leaders of the town are going to say. Said on the public yeah. floor, he made. He, if you remember last time when he talked to us about it, he said that, to your point that he just wanted people to know. Yeah, that's it what it was. That's what Cindy that said. He would change it to a dollar on the floor. He would change it to a dollar on the floor. He just wants to pay, have people understand just how much money goes into plowing private roads. That's the only reason for this. Can I well, ask a question? I mean, mm -hmm. people that live on private roads are part of this community. I mean, why don't we get a figure on how much it's going to cost to do Rice Corner, Allen Road, and Lake Road? Exactly. You're singling I just don't, out private. I just don't, they're still paying the same yeah. amount of taxes as the rest of us. Yeah, that, that's not why is it such a big deal in the town of Brookfield is what I'm trying to get a, a, an a answer to. It's a big deal. It's a lot of expense, actually. Yeah, it's a lot of it's it, well, a, well, I mean, big, we can't. Big, there's a big risk to the, one of the biggest challenges with the, with the towns, and I, and I don't know if we've voted to accept certain portions of mass general law but the if the maintenance on those roads is not adequate and if the to, and if the roads aren't reviewed yeah. you try to plow some of the roads mm -hmm. that are in certain conditions mm -hmm. if the town breaks their plow on their own road that's a public road mm -hmm. that we've been paying the maintenance on it's one thing when we start breaking plows on on private roads it's a it's a totally separate thing but this no, was already still, this still was part of the town but this it's but so this so was so already well, covered it's part okay. of the town in a past meeting correct but that people have to supply the they have to sign a paper. Yes. The roads have to be examined. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so if those roads are not up to snuff and there's agreements haven't been signed, it won't be done. So I have that's one, I have one vote and I'm voting that we keep this article. So yep. So let's back I, to the board. I think I, I love to keep this on too. Now, it shouldn't be in the block article. So. No, I, I didn't think it was in the block article. Well, that was because it was a dollar, and, and it it's been this way for years. Right. Yeah, I just so I think we years should, and years and years it's been there. So, yeah. so take yeah, it out I, I the, would can take I out. take it out of the block. So we're gonna yeah. have to switch. Oh, no, no, just take it out since the last one. Yeah, right. so just take one. it out. Okay. So we'll stop the block at twelve. So right. selectman, yes. Yep. Advisory board. No. No. Nope. No. Nope. We had a dollar. We just put a dollar into it. That's fine. What's next? All right, the next one here is 14. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer or borrow with sum of money for the library building maintenance account. And that amount of money is 7400 And this is to pay an architect required by the Mass Historical Society for the Mass Preservation Project Funds, Grant MPPF. Yep. And it says we have saved $12,000 over several years. Yes. You have years. And applied for this matching fund grant to improve the front facade of the library, the gargoyle, the downspout, and the window restoration. The trustees and staff continue to prioritize upgrades, maintenance to the town's historic buildings. 
-hmm. And already it's a board of selectmen. We that we approved it. And we yeah. approved it. Yeah. yeah. She get she gave us a good presentation and explained it. All right. It so the only one very then, well. And I helped to write the grant, and I feel good about it. Yeah. Okay. So the only okay. So why don't we then skip on to sixteen? Okay, sixteen. To see if the town will vote to amend chapter 15 of the personnel bylaws section 2 mandatory classification to include the position of assistant treasurer or take any action relative thereto. the reason that we are doing this in case we have another problem like you know an instant came up like we just had this okay. last time where we had to take the, fi the uh, financial clerk was appointed by the treasurer and the board of selectmen to be the, the assistant treasurer. And um, I think this is a good idea. If something comes up again, and if they're absent for any period of time, you have the assistant treasurer to step in and do this position. Because if you don't have this, then you know we can't do anything. The assistant assessor, I mean, the assistant treasurer can have her name. She's bonded. She has her name on all of the bank accounts, and she can, has the uh, she can sign checks, expenses, and we need that backup if this ever happens to us again, or say if they're out for some time for a leave of absence or something. And well, we that, thought it was a good idea to do. Well, this. that could happen with any position, though. So then, rather than having clerks. Then no, you need an assistant tax collector. Then no, you need no, an assistant no. this and well, you could use yeah. the same this, rationale. This is for a, all those this different is a limit, but this is eliminating the financial clerk for this position. That's not, but that's not my point. The point is that you could you could use that same logic with any other department that now has a clerk. Well, but this well, is what if so and so this goes is an out? But this is a very you know? important department, and so is say accounting. All departments are important. The, right. right. She no, have, you, right. no. But I'm just saying. You All know. departments are important. Oh, I understand that, but the treasury is a very because she's the one. She's the one. I mean, does the it's paycheck? The, it's, it's the most. It's the it's most it. technical day-to-day -day financial yeah. requirement. That we have as an entity, with no disrespect to Carrie. No, I she, agree no, with no, that. no. I didn't mean that, Carrie. I didn't mean any. If Carrie walked out on us tomorrow, not that she's going to. I won't let okay. her. <laughs> well, anyway, um, we could go tomorrow and go to like an accounting service, like what the town of Sunderland uses, and no. say, "Hey, can you come in and, and fill our town accountant role until we hire somebody?" And but the thing is, it's the cost. Well, well, it would, it would be outrageously expensive. Oh, yeah, don't, get don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Into that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we would ever want to do that. Mm. I'm saying if the accountant did that tomorrow, yep. it's not an issue. Right now, with the treasurer, the treasurer, with the names having to be on the accounts and the bonding. actual physical yep. bonding and yes. movement of oh, money. Yeah. She's already been it's, bonded. It's yeah. the most critical player yeah. in that role. And, and technically, it, technically it, is, it is the most difficult position when you have it vacant. Okay? There's a lot of good reason to have only clerks for the other financial people or have shared municipal clerks that are trained and that are cross trained in all of the financial mm -hmm. departments. Yeah, just okay. Leave, okay. It, leave it to them, Beth. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we, we're, we're already supporting We're, right. we're well, already the, supporting The this. other part of it was that um, there's training necessary for this. Yep. Okay, yeah, and, yep. and that's, we understand that. The school. But that would, um, her current position. I don't know if it's 17, whatever, yes. um, and it's going to jump to 22. Well, what, when, when, at what point will it change to $22 an hour? After she's received her education and certification, why would no, you give someone no, no, who's no. not? The assistant does not have to be certified. Well, what, she has to receive. She has to be educated. She, yes, though. she is going to go to school. Okay. But we did the step in the. On this last week, I, I wrote to her about that, Marie. I sent that email to you. Well, she came in and said twenty-two dollars. Yes, that's what so. it will be. Beep, she's not because well, she is she she because is because of her step in grade. Because of her step in grade and the responsibility that comes along with this position, we have a whole thing that we go through. We go through. It says experience, and it says um, experiences. I'm trying to think of some different things that are on that the chart that we have to go through. 
and it tells the job duties. It's practically everything that the treasurer has to do, that this person has to do in her absence. And so she's going to school for this this summer. Okay, now the point that our board had was that's all fine and dandy, but right now she is not qualified to take over as a treasurer to get that increase in her pay. That's what our board came up with. You, you want to give her an increase now it's before not, she's about, qualified. It's not about the person, it's about so, creating the it's, position it's not so we can about legally the person. put the person it's, in it. That's okay, right. that's so, fine, but then, okay, that, so when, when, you, when, do you, when, when does you she start the increase? When, when does she do you start the this position? Increase? Oh, this, right. this position, right now she is getting her, right now she's getting the same rate as of a pay clerk. as she was getting as the financial clerk. Right. This would start July 1st. That's, that's what I mean. That's our that's, point. That's Linda. our she's, problem. She's not qualified to step in as a well, treasurer. Well, she has right now. She's very she's qualified. She's not qualified at this time. Well, that, if we that, didn't think she was qualified, I don't okay, think we would, would have put the, her the, in there. The townspeople can vote. I'm just giving us, I'm just giving you our point of view. But this doesn't mean just the person. We could have a whole new person come in and take that's, this position. That's the important thing is the when, person. Right, you're going to get a treasurer what, within the month? Cross well, our fingers. We're, we're hoping. But what I'm saying, though, with this, okay. if this, the assistant treasurer, it doesn't mean it could even be the person that we have in there. If she decides she doesn't want to do it and you hire another person, this is for the, another person coming in. Okay, so once we get another person in here, we're going to have a, a treasurer who's working 24 hours, and then we're going to be having an assistant 16. At, 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 at 16 hours at that pay rate. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, you're just saying that's going to cost, okay. I, I, I see your point, but I'm just saying it's also going to be costly to the town. Absolutely. It's, got, it's, it's an important position. No offense, well, Carrie. No, Carrie. The, the, a lot of stuff has to go. Every other department stops. Yeah, every other department stops. So that's stops. how important mm -hmm. this position is. And when we did appoint her, we had full approval of town council to do it, even mm -hmm. though we didn't have okay. that position in, because she said we needed this position. For the functioning of the town. Yeah, for the functioning I'm just wondering why we haven't had it in the past. This town is how many years old? This structure has been in place for how long? And, and well, they've gotten by without this position. And why? And we're going to wait another year yeah, to get an audit done. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. So. And, and it's never happened well. And quite frankly, we're going to be very lucky if we don't wind up, because of the current vacancy in the treasurer's office, if we don't wind up with a, a, a fairly significant Listen. you know, problem with cash flow. No, we've, been, we've had this problem before. We've been, we've been over this road before. So it's, new. It's, it's worse. Uh, we, 17. It is, it is okay, we're going to move on to 17. So, so who signs the paychecks in the absence of a treasurer? How that's why we, had, right that's why, we, that's why we had to appoint yeah. a but now, treasurer. But now, this right. isn't, that's she not until July. No, 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 no she's, in, she's in spot now. She's we in. put her in, when was the date, Karen, we put her in? I can't Four remember. Four weeks ago. In March. Because we put her in place that, in March. Because of the fact that town council said that it, it's one of these things, it's kind of like, when there was only five people on advisory, three people constitutes a quorum, even though it's not. Okay. Um, we we you, get we, it. As we a small it. town, we had to be able to do business. Yeah. KMP said yeah. we were legal. Yeah. She, they said so we were it. legal to do it as long as we did not pay her any more money for this position right now. And then she said we should adopt this position at the annual town meeting. And we needed somebody. She has her name now. Um, she signs the payroll checks. She can do expenses, she can do all kind of uh, tr money transfers, she can go to the bank. And without having this person in place, we can't do any of that. We, un we understand that side okay. of the Linda. So this we is why- We made our side too, okay. This is why we support this article. So the investment's now supporting it? Well, we, still... we support it, we just wanted, before the pay got it, we wanted the person to be schooled and, and, and qualified, that's all. But the question is not the rate of pay. Exactly. It's not it's the question. It's that off position. Well, we, you, we have to, but you have to take into just, consideration. Linda just said that you're going to drop the position and the pay will increase. The pay will yes, change. Yes, because we did July first. We did a grade. We did okay. a, a right. step in a grade, right. and this is where it falls. But the hourly pay does ex does affect the budget. That's why we're taking it right. into That's consideration. Right. That's why we right. Okay. So it's money. So, so where do you stand? Do you support do you, it or not? They. Um, you oh, can take vote. a vote. Let you guys want to revote it? It's up to you guys. I mean, we voted last night, but you guys want to vote again? I'll entertain it if you want to. If you want to do it, support it. Hmm? We vote to support the article. You're gonna vote. You're making a motion to support it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no one seconds it. All right, discussion. Oh, not the 
support. Two support. I'm not supporting. Okay. Uh, B, no. no. I'm not either. Not, not, not. T H, no. I, guess, we'll I like the position. I like year. the position, but I think the pay should no. follow after the qualification falls in place. After the training. Nice. Yeah. Support. yeah. Uh, so no. Three, three. No. So three, three. you support it, and Bobby was no. Bobby is no. Bobby is no. Dave is no. Tony is yes. Here. William is yes. What? They have here. RF. Yeah. So the petition? They said the language so you got long one, two, three, five, eight, four, five. Four, five. Legally, we have to go by what was done. Yes. It's going well. It has to be. So what is it? Three to three? Hmm. Yeah. Three, three fails. Three, three fails. Well, no, it, the tax, if it's going to affect the tax one way or another, if you, it's just a matter of when she gets the money. The, the education is going to occur this summer? She yes, said up it, to three years. Up to, it's going to take up to well, three she, years. She yeah, and she, I'm sure that, I'm sure she probably could be certified. And that's what we're asking. With right. a new one coming in, even a new treasurer, right. we want them within three years to be certified. That's three years. I'm just, that's the other thing. That's a really long time to be paying somebody that kind of money that's not certified. Um, well, she's been doing the job now, and she's doing a good job. So I think we may be getting a little confused here. This is you are. the adoption of uh, an it is. assistance. It's, it is, but what it is, we know it's that. the adoption. We have to but do the money this. Follows it's very clear. We have all to do saying, this. So. Yeah, so we're just going to get on town floor and just yeah. say, yeah, just, yeah, the lawyer just, says yeah. do yeah. this. Yeah. We're going to do it. Right. And she'll be there to back us up. That, no, that's that's fine. We're just giving you our take. That's all. Okay, I mean, how right. the town voters vote. That's I don't have a problem either way. But I'm just telling you how, okay, how now, we're viewing it. Now so here I notice the lawyer vote. says not to do something. Okay. She's going to tell us no. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I get right. it. Okay. All right. Now um, on 17, I noticed here that you it's changed a split it vote. to okay. three yes, three no. Oh, okay. Fails. Okay. So you don't support it. Okay. I noticed here on Article 17. Mm -hmm that you said the article should read Long Hill. We can't put Long Hill because the way the petition came in, it says Rice Connor Road, right. and it can be amended on the floor. The, the, the article itself is rife with the, errors yeah, in, yeah. In, in the town farm road locations. Yeah, yeah. The, the, but this, it should say Long Hill. But this right. is how it. But this is how it came it's an in. Initiative understood. So we have to. Well, then yeah. we can't support it because. Well, yeah, we won't support it as it's written. <laughs> Okay. okay. So we'll make the amendment then, right, Linda? And then we'll then we'll be yeah. fine. The intent is here. We just got the, the wrong road. Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Correct. Correct. The support is well written. Well, so we need to vote. We already voted it last night. Okay. If just the wording was wrong. Well, yeah. then. You're but we voted. We were on board with it. So you so support it. supporting it. We support it. Yeah. Okay. As long as you make the amendment on that on the uh, correction on okay. the uh, road. So select board. Motion to accept. That guy's I will make the motion to accept the article. And I'll okay. second it. All in favor? As right. written. Right. As written, Beth? Well, you have to do it as yes, written. Yes, as written. Okay, and then you're going to make the amendment. Okay. All right. That's the only way we can accept okay. it, regardless of the error. Just put, yeah, I'd like to just show the amendment. We'll amend it. Okay. All right, now we have Article 18. No, our next one, no. all righty. Yeah, 18. 18. 18, okay. <clears throat> to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer or borrow some of money to do the work at the fire station. Okay. The brick what? station's no, main, yeah. okay, you, so you want no, me no, to no, uh, read out this whole no, purpose? No, this, this is Jeff Taylor telling oh, you no. to fix it. Yeah. yeah, but right here, though, Peter had added on, um, that he needs to replace a stove, and we didn't hear that before. Actually, that he spoke to that the last time when did he was he? in front of us. Yep, last meeting. Smile and say yes. Yeah. He did. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear you say that yeah. you want. Okay. Yeah, he did. Okay. So it's all included. So. That's all included so in the advisory. A, the advice. Okay. All right. I make a motion that we approve. Yeah, I will make that. I'll, I'll second. second. I'll second. I'll second. Yes. Okay. Okay. There you go. Um, any, yeah. any any discussion? No. Nope. Okay. Okay, the, the advisory board, um, it came up last night, and I brought it up, um, that I feel that um, this expense should be split with um, the ambulance, since that department takes up 50% of the building. And this is not 
unheard of. If you go back to the 2008 warrant, you'd see that during that time they paid a portion of the bill for work done on the firehouse as well. So, and that is, I haven't checked the um, warrants since then, between 2008 and now, to see what the other history is. Um, but I don't think that's unreasonable, considering they're housed there as well. And technically, the people on duty for ambulance are actually there, you know, more hours than actual firefighters are there, except for training or... What, does the electrical panel service, what, the $10,000, which is the primary portion of, of the repair services, what portion of the building? The entire brick building. The entire brick building. Yeah. Which is the firehouse, mm -hmm. pretty much, right, Pete? It's the entire brick building, which is the fire station, the ambulance garage, the emergency management office, okay. the rabies clinic. So, why split it? Yeah. It's just paperwork. Why split it? Yeah. Because it's where the money comes from that matters. It's coming from the town. It, it is. Well, the ambulance has their own account yeah. that they can take money out of. It has so been done gonna, before. I didn't it, say it wasn't no, done before. I'm just, I'm just saying, saying, what does it matter? Precedent, well, why did it matter in 2008? What did we do in 2008? I don't have the thing in front of me, but um, a portion of some repairs that were done came out of that account. So I'm just suggesting we could do that again. I mean, you're looking at, you know, we just we figured some of it would come out of the amb the ambulance um, account because you, you know you guys are using half the building and the other using half. That's that's all. It's not half. Well, we're we're still we're still going to have to sort out what the motions are going to read. So honestly, we this, were behind this you, but the, we were just trying to figure out if we could get some so we didn't use some of the money. That's all. Right, but our purpose tonight is to decide just to if decide. we support the article or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And the electrical inspector says do it. So yeah, if the yeah. electrical okay. inspector says do it, you got to do it. And we've um, we've already said that we wanted this. But the article so really does say raise appropriate transfer or borrow. So yeah. it's asking for a source of funds. And we were just weighing in on where would be kind of an idea of getting some of the money out, out of the ambulance account. That's all. So we we supported the we we supported the thing. Okay. okay, and then on 19, you have... You are supporting, is that what I hear? Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, on 19, there was another question on this also by the advisory board. I have a question also. Um, I talked to a member of the um, Capital Improvement Committee today, and he said before we go voting on this, he feels that this amount of 200000 he feels this needs to be, go before the Capital Improvement Committee. Mm -hmm. And he said, right now, he says, we also have mutual aid, too, for this, mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. he says they get back into this committee and actually start discussing what's going to go on. That's what I mentioned on our last meeting. It should go before that board. We yeah. need more discussion yeah. on this. We had a member come in today, and um, okay. we spoke about this. Well, we've got somebody that agrees with me. So, well, so, I also believe that it was going to be a portion of money. It was going to be twenty thousand last week. That's, right. That, that was why we questioned it last night when we went through this because the fleet account. The yeah. last thing was twenty thousand fleet account. And then Correct. Came out and it was two hundred thousand. Right. right. So twenty thousand dollars will buy half a police cruiser. So if we put twenty thousand dollars in a year, then in probably about twenty four years we could buy a fire truck. No, I I understand. I understand no, what you're thinking, Pete. I do. It needs to go before this. It needs no, to go in front of the capital planning. It's I a made, major expense. I said exactly that to Linda when we discussed it at a selections meeting. That I said twenty thousand is nothing, and we're going to need another hundred eighty to make it two hundred. So I did say that to her. So don't put words in my mouth that I didn't say. And I'm on board with. Yeah, I'm on board getting money set aside to get another truck. But it's just how we do it. We yeah. should have more discussion. Is what I said. Twenty thousand capital improvement committee just got reinstituted. We went years violating the bylaw. Use it as a shield to not move town forward. It, it's not a shield, Peter. It I was, shield, Peter. He it's spoke to me expense. about this today, one of the members, yeah. because he said we've already, like last year, he said we already bought two two brand new vehicles. We're we're gonna we're gonna have some pretty significant discussions probably, and a lot of the capital 
expenditures. Uh, expenditures are going to have to move to the fall anyway. So rather than get into uh, superfluous discussion over I mean, we that piece of it, let's just it, we can do one of two things. Let's, I, I I would recommend leaving it on so that people understand that we do have this potential expenditure upcoming. Um, and then pass it over at the meeting until we actually have better visibility on, on where we are fiscally. Excellent. Okay, I have a motion to um, leave it on. To leave it on. Yeah, I'll make a motion to leave it on. I'll second it. All in favor? Oh, aye. No. We, um, we voted no yes last night. Just I mean, just the way it's worded, the two hundred thousand raise and appropriate. So to, no. to us, that means Me too, yeah. yeah. No. We'll too much right. Okay. Now we also have a question here. All the other ones we've all voted here to support most of the articles here. Now the next one is twenty or twenty-eight. No, she's got twenty-eight here. Oh, she has twenty-eight, but we're going. We just did nineteen, so we're on. Oh well. Oh, we're going to go over them because yeah, I thought. Yeah, we've already said we that. Already, we already did those. Yeah. We already did these. We already did all of those. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to go over them. Because um, I noticed 28 is, is another well, one. 24. Did the advisory board support that or not? That's for the vote. The vehicle. That wasn't out. That's regarding that truck. We okay. were split it's, on the vote. So it's a no. Okay. No. So we support it. Mm -hmm. yep. no, they don't. They don't. Okay. All right. Oh, I take that back. We did, we, yeah, we did support it because it was there in the water department's money, so yeah. sure. their own entity. Yeah. All right, so on Although spending, <laughs> right. even though it's their own entity, spending does affect or could affect the water. The people that use the water and get billed. So, but we had a good discussion on it. It was very good. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we're on to twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah, that's another one that you talked about. FEMA money to fleet account. You said the advisory board does not support this action and wants the funds to go towards snow and ice deficit, since it was money used for snow event. Because the money that the money that was expended to, to to do what we had to do back in 015, then it should go back into the it should go back into the snow and ice account because that's where the money came from originally. So we figured it should go back, take that right off the top of the deficit when we get into the annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. That was our thinking. Yes, it's and, and, it's and actually, right. my, my question is actually for Carrie is that, and, and it may be something that we need to check with DOR, because my experience has been when we get a check back from FEMA, say we get a check back from FEMA this year, not until we file for free cash related to receipts in this year, i.e. sometime next fall or, or early spring next year, that's when we can actually allocate those funds. So I don't know that either of these articles or recommendations is even technically feasible under Mass General Law. I don't see, the, I don't have a copy of the article here. Um, but I think we were going to ask Cindy yeah. to confirm that. Are you That's referring to 27 too, Beth? You're referring 28, to 28, 27, 28. and 27. Yeah, I'm, I'm referring to all of them that yeah. talk about taking money from the general fund to put anywhere based on yeah. checks that were received in the current fiscal year. Yep, but 27 and 28, due yep. From fiscal 15. Yes and no. That's where because it came from. Because even though, it came from. But even though it comes from 15, the check itself was received to the town in this year. In yeah. December 31st of 16. That's Cindy confirm it. Yeah. And that's why we can, should be able to vote that's it Cindy in. That's Cindy confirm it. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll yeah. just move on. We'll talk yeah. to Cindy about that. Okay, 28. And now we have... Um, well, let me ask one question before you move on, if I may, Linda. If if we can do move the money whatever how that's our question is are you going to move where are you going to move the money to we so we're saying back into snow and ice you're saying back for, into snow for 28. and ice yeah 28. For 28. And, and the question that was left open last time was whether or not you could in fact do that back yeah. to the snow and ice and we don't i don't think we have an answer to that question we have to find okay. that out okay so we, where can we get a solid answer I will contact you or yep. Okay, and then let me know, Carrie. Yep. Okay. And, and, then, that we and then probably the same thing. It would be the same thing. The same thing for 27 also, would 27, it? yeah. Because that's from the general fund. Yeah, but that's not snow. Oh, but that's not snow. Okay. No, 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 I understand that. 
So it's just 28, and whether or not you can take it out of snow, yeah. put it in snow. And I understood you couldn't. Do you understand? So it's 27 going to stay from the last time I understood, and that's why we asked huh? the question. 27 going to be taken from the general fund? Yeah, the general fund, that's another one, too, we talked about today, Karen and I. If, are we going to take okay, what are we on 27, that is going to come from the general fund, or do we have some other fund that we could take this out of? One. This is oh, article. Fund, article 27. You just got thrown under the bus. My memory is not hey, what happened, happened. Because well, we, we usually don't transfer money, money out of the general fund. I was, well, I, I know. I've that's my question. I've been down there for that exact reason. For the past and that's, two how days. They, so, that's how the highway had written training, them up. A training course in Plymouth. I would think we should find that money. And I texted yeah, her. Yeah, find the money elsewhere. Yeah. The general fund isn't really no. Yeah, and actually, it, that, that article should just be raise appropriate transfer or borrow. Right. Yeah. Which article are we looking at? I got this one. Twenty-seven. Or we could see Market if we have some money in an account that we could take. Yeah, and, and, and in essence, right. I think I think if I recall, because I had to, I did have a conversation. They were trying to point out that they were bringing money back in, and they were trying to get the money back in <laughs> to support. The, the vehicles. The vehicles, in essence. So the right. money came from the vehicles, put it back in with the vehicles. But I think we run into the same problem with that, where the check came in this year. Yeah, it said it the money. Be, it it be said that the money was obtained from the sale of the 1980 Mack truck. Right. So, so you could say raise appropriate transfer or borrow, but it wouldn't be coming from the general fund. No, it wouldn't come from the general fund. It and, has to come and, from something else. And I think what we probably just need to do is if we're going to do any article for fleet account, would be a, a single consolidated fleet account article. Hmm. Um, Madam Chair, a question for clarification. Is the amount 2570 or 2750 in article 27? Oh, it's $2,570. Thank you. Oh. Good job, Bill. Okay. All right. So we're not going to do anything with that tonight. Anyway. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, at least let's change the verbiage to raise appropriate transfer borrow. Really, a some money. Yeah. 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 Correct. And then, yeah. The and then the motion comes in where we, where we figure out where it's coming from yeah. and all that. So get yeah, the raise an appropriate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, all, that's yeah. how they came in, and that's how I just did it. This is just a draft. She just did it so we could see this tonight because she knows that this doesn't go in. I'm good. Okay. 29. We support. The one time. They don't have 20. Oh, they don't. Have, they, okay, you don't support number 29. That's why I asked directly correlate with whether or not this $18,000 from the Wizard goes into snow and ice to take down the deficit, or if it goes to the. Right. Because the way the spreadness is going to be totally different. Correct. Right. So that's going to be. That's going to, yeah. Um, That's going to have to. Do we know? Do we know what's going to happen with that 1997 parts truck? Um, because yeah, in the past, because this doesn't have to go up. That right. We have a little bit of time to. It won't pass inspection. Well, that particular truck, though, in the past, five years ago, they said the same. Was thing. supposed to be the given. Team. Yeah, the same thing was said a few years ago, and then it was going to be given to cemetery so they could tool around. Not on it, well, I'm just saying, but past history, and then it never happened, and then they kept it, and now it's like being no, no. Now we're replacing it for the second they, time. They we're said, replacing it the second time. I do recall reading though that yeah, it says right there that they use it for patching potholes. So it, you can't then if it's not. Uh, it is at this point not roadworthy. It so are we planning on investing money in and, and again to make it roadworthy? And their rec recommendation was not to invest in it to make it roadworthy. But if we went to the town already and asked them to replace this truck and they did, how can we go to the town and ask them to replace the same truck again? No, you're asking for another truck. Well, this is saying to replace the same truck that's already replaced. It's buying a truck. I understand that, Clarence, but but we as a board here, we, we like to get some trust from our employees. So I guess, I guess the question is, is, should there be two one-tons or three one-tons in the town? That's no, the should there be three or should there be four? Well, maybe no. It's supposed that's to be two. two. It was supposed to be two originally. We'll see. We'll see. Two trucks originally, and the taxpayers in this town got duped five years ago, and now we're doing the same thing again now. 
No, I don't think is, this is being duped. No. You're asking them to do something. As a tax credit that was there, there were two articles on that town meeting. One was to buy a brand new one town. One was to appropriate a sum of money to repair the 97. Both of those passed. Both those motions were read, clearly understood by the audience, probably including yourself, and both passed to buy a new truck and put money into the 97. At no time did the town, was the town led to believe that the 97 was going away. The stuff about the cemetery, the cemetery commissioners knew nothing about that, that they were supposed to get. So the, the town voted to buy a new truck and put money into this 97. Now this 97 is not worth putting money into, so as it says, to replace it. But right, that's... I wasn't there then. Oh, no. I'm going off of what Herbie told me himself when we said it last week. I turned around and said to him, yep. the last truck we got, didn't that replace the 97? He said, yes. And I said, so we're replacing it again? He said, yep. I said, okay. That's where I got the information from. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 I wasn't there, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was just asking Herbie that question. That's, 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 that's what it there were two articles on that, both related to that. One to buy a new truck, and I don't think the burger was to replace the 97 because that would have led to the problem, but to buy a new one ton and also to put money into the 97, and both of those passed. I don't remember that. I remember they were going to get junk it, or, and then they were, the cemetery spoke up and they wanted Well, it. I've asked so. for the warrants to we'll get the from warrant, 2008 right. to the present, and we can look for that. We, we still that. have a little time because this doesn't have to be posted until seven Okay. Days. Okay. So, the so, Carrie says she has to leave, so. Carrie says she has to leave, so anything else okay. you can just ask her. Yeah. You can ask her. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay, okay Carrie. I just have an well, 830 client and I put them off long enough. Okay, no problem. You are a trooper. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. We appreciate much. you Thank coming you, in, Carrie. So we still have time to get some answers on this. Okay, so that's open. What's next, Madam Chair? Okay, we have a three. I don't think we have it. Well, we have a couple. Oh, you have to vote to put on um, Article 34 and Article 35. Okay, 33. And Article 36. And, and I got three quotes. I got three. Quotes. I got another quote today. Okay, so we have. We're going to put on oh, now Article 34 to see if the town will vote to borrow, or transfer, or raise a sum of money to condemn and raise up three uninhabitable buildings in the town of Brookfield, or take any action there too. And this was explained to me by. Um, Mike, Mike about, he says, these, yep. these buildings are no longer suitable for human habitation and one has extensive fire damage, the other, uh, it's on Kimball, has accepted and it has a septic on some, another neighbor's property and it's not inhabitable and the cost estimate is, he's got, for that one, for yeah. that one is 4,500. <laughs> yeah, the total to do the both of them is 13,500. Okay. okay, I get a couple questions. What, what are the three buildings? What are the locations? One is on Kimball. Yeah. This is all the information. East Main. This is all he. Unless you know. Uh, Kimball and. Lewis, Lewis, the Lewis Field one is, I think, on this list. Yeah, that one. And then I think he said something about one on South Maple. Oh, uh, Lewis Field. All right. Sure. Lewis Field is, is secured in. in, in Did no, he say something? Do we own these buildings? No, Maple? we have the right to take them down. I don't know. But I'll make sure that we get do you have you have you okay so and what's the other one you so you got one on Kimball and one on Lewis Field I think I don't Lewis know Field I don't see a health on, hazard to with one on Lewis Field but I don't that's know if okay. he told me there's one on South Maple too. are you talking about John Benoit La, La Pointe's house yes that's whose yeah. house it is now yeah. what, are, what are we talking about legal jog here I mean can you, you I mean there's a legal form that you have to go you just can't go in there and do this there's a legal format that has to be followed before you take buildings down yeah Okay, have you done all that? Has Mike Siri done all this? Yeah. I would I say. I was in contact with Jeff. Yeah. Yep. With the, with yeah, the Mike, the, the, the Board of Health is the one that's sponsoring these. Yep. And I'm all for it. I see. Yeah, well, they, they may be going the opposite direction. They may not be filling out the, the full paperwork until they know that it's funded. So maybe you want to talk to Mike on it because that would, that would be his I'm just I'm just saying you, when you're talking real estate, you got to go through the legal jag before you just go into someone's property and start doing things. You just can't, even though you think, oh, I'd like to see that house gone or, or whatever. But there's a, there's a procedure to go through is what Absolutely. I'm saying. Absolutely. And, and I'm just asking on the town's behalf to make sure that we're safe to have permission mm -hmm. to do well, this. Well, this is a question for Mike. Because yep. Mike, it's the Board of Health, so this is a question for okay, them. Okay, I'll ask him then. Okay. Yep. 
Because he just asked us to put this on, and I'll he told me. To put, it put it on. on. Absolutely. Well, I, and second. I okay. All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Okay, then thirty-five. So we should so see if. Okay. We Hang on. Okay. Are we supporting this, or you want to get more docs from the health board? Well, they're going to have to have the docs to do it, right? So I mean, I don't. Well, I, yeah, as the long as the thing is, they have if them. you fund it, where does the money go if if they? For some reason, it's a pretty maybe. long process, and, and John LaPointe's house just happened this year. So, it's a mess, it should be changed. You can always revisit it at the special if you feel that they're not, if, if you feel by then they haven't made a, enough progress in order to actually execute it in the fiscal year. I'm, you can always go ahead and re vote the article at the special and say only one of them is through the paperwork, and you don't think that they're going to get through the other two, you can always vote that amount down so it doesn't... So well, the way the way honestly, is, there's probably another 15 houses in this town that we need to do this to, I think, to start. You know, the, oh, no, no, that's, that's, that's not the issue, Tony. Tony. That's all I'm saying. Like, we got to start somewhere. So as long as you proceed this, right. Like, yeah. You know, myself, I, you know, you drive, I mean, I don't know a house that's on Kimball Street, but they should take Chuck and Ed's damn house down, too. That's, down the, that's the one on Kimball. Okay. Yeah, we, that's the one. Yeah, that's they the one talking about that on Kimball Street. I thought, I thought this was the one on the top of Kimball. The two that are abandoned up there, I thought it was one. No, 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 no. Chuck and Ed's house is going to go, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> um, but I mean, I just, you know, this is I'm talking procedure. Me. That's all I'm talking about. Dave, I get it. Yeah. I'm saying if I'm not saying no, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you don't put the money away, then if they do the pay they could do the paperwork yeah. all day okay. long and they can't execute against it. Okay. I don't, I don't think the procedure's in question here, Dave. I think what's just, the, okay. You know, what is we can't we can't I, I think to move forward with the process is what oh, yeah. the question we'll, is. Here. I'm all in favor of that, as long as we're following the procedure. Oh, yeah. you, that's you, all. We'll have to okay, talk so. to Mike about see if he's following the procedure. Okay. I can talk to him too and you can also Okay. So we make I'm just asking questions. No, Dave, sure I the town is okay. We leave all. ourselves oh, open need? for any, any any kind oh, of liability. Yeah. Right. That's. I'm just looking out for yeah. the town. That's all. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you guys want to make a motion to accept this? I'll make a motion. Yeah. Second. Okay. Who's second it? Tony, you are very vocal. No motion. I second. Are, are we going to get um, how well, we, are we going to get our money back now? Are you going to put a lien on each property? How much it costs I to do this? I think. I think I. Tax title already? I don't know. I, I, I think Knights is. I think Knights is in. Knights tax, is in tax title. Tax yes. Title. So I think the one by Lewis is too. I think that one's in tax yes, title so too. It's and I. In or it's all the way through. Yeah. I think it may. That one may actually. Oh, there's not too many that are all the way through, Beth. No. No, I don't think that is yet. She was. At, she had had. That's the one I would be very cautious. Like a real estate sale. With some of these, yeah, a company was willing to buy a few of these properties, but that was not. A, we didn't foreclose on that yet. Okay, so we have a we and, have a, a second. And La Point. We, he we already to, did. All in favor? Aye. Okay. 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 Now we have Article Thirty Five. I'll say no until we get more. Are we all set? To yeah. Move on. Article Thirty Five. Passes. To see if the town will vote to a member, Chapter Four of the Mass General Laws Advisory Committee as follows, with new language to be added to the existing sections one and four. And this is noted in the bold type below. There shall be an advisory committee for the town to which shall be referred all articles of a financial nature contained in any warrant see that information in two days or you're going to see that information yeah. in 10 days or you're going to see that information yeah. in 30 days and how much that information is going to cost because of the cost incurred by the town yep so has to be given that's according to freedom of information yeah. right that's a separate Correct. separate I've done thing it and they gave me there's a time frame and that's when i got the i get that right. that's but when you, I got you don't get the information you get the when you're going to get the information and what the i cost did get the information okay. within, within the a days, set time you're notified sometimes you do sometimes you don't i did so okay but, um, and I've done it a couple of different times at towns, and boom, it was there. So I don't know where you're, you know, what you're coming from. That's the law. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well that's the law. But but what he's, I think what he's saying is that the there weren't any reasons given why you couldn't get it in a timely manner. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That's all. So you're bringing all kinds of other you're putting things. Putting all sorts in, of things into it, and, you know. Like possible reasons, you know. Okay, so anyway, this so. this is this is this is put, you know. It's better than what we have. Right. 
So that's why we decided to put So whatever's in bold is what they're going to, that's yep. how it's going to read. So you, if yep. someone want to make a motion to accept it. Or support it. Support it, accept it. Bobby, you said no? I don't support this. Okay. Someone want to, you guys, no one wants to second it? There's no. I'd, I'd, I'd support the change mm -hmm. here in the language. That's what we're voting on, yes. Mm -hmm. I think that we're looking at some components here which may or may not be, which aren't going to be answered tonight. And I think that people want answers to them. We're not going to get that. We're not going to get those. No. Right. So this I, this I, is what we're voting on. What's here is what we're voting on. Exactly. So, I, does anyone I would, want to second this? I support the change in the language. Okay. Someone want to second that? I will. Okay. Any further discussion? Tony? I was going to say, I, I didn't have, I, I don't have the original to compare the two, so I can't really. Right. That's what I was, um, right. Do you want to copy? You want to see it? Is it what's, what was the change? Just the bold. Whatever's in bold type is, is the, um. I need to see it. This way. Linda, I got another quote today, so I got three. Oh, yeah. you got three quotes. Okay, yeah. we'll talk about that. Yeah. On the stair, the stair thing. So this was KMP's language here. Yes, this was KMP's language. We're going by them. No, that's KP it's KP law now. Though. It's not KMP, it's KP law. Right. Yeah. Everybody goes KMP. Yeah. But, <laughs> but they've changed it legally, though. Oh, did they? Yeah, it's KP law. KP law now? Okay. Because when Mr. Copeland, he retired, now he started up like a, um, a real estate company all by himself. So that's okay. why it's KP law. Oh, thanks for that. Peter's got a question. What was the change, Tony? Uh, Any big changes? If you look at this, everything that's not in bold mm -hmm. is, the, is the two sentences it used to say, or the one sentence. Mm -hmm. Do they have, the they need to yeah. continue to so that's, that. so that's good, okay. So are you on, you're on board with it? Uh, yes? I thought it was. All right, so what do we what do we stand? Tony's no, Bob's no. Bill, you yes. Yeah, I support it. I made the motion. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I think we don't need to worry so much about the figure because we probably have some alternate. So does anybody want a second? That are going to keep the figure. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. That figure will be enough so, to handle both the uh, highway and the no. fire. Yeah. But what we'll we need no. to do is ensure that right. the fire department is included no in the verbiage. So I what we need to do is... Well, it doesn't say who it's for. Oh, you know what? It doesn't say who it's for, so it's not. It's fine. What's that? It's signature. Oh. And just take out storage cabinets and cabinets for flammable and mess. Good catch. Thank you. We want to make sure that we back up to 33. No, it matters. So forget about so, that. The, the Oxford comma can maybe break a contract. Yeah. And yes. then you want me to add the explanation? Too? Yeah, because we, we don't support well, that. Just, just that, that right? just so, to right. support uh, uh, right. appropriate safety equipment in the department's cool. period. So. Well, we can't right now. Okay, so departments are okay now we'll move on. Areas. Let's finish up on 35. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, have 30 we finished on 35 yet? No. Uh, okay, yeah, we're so, all set. Wait a minute. One, two. Okay. Um, he said yes. He said yes. So it, it fails. The advisory does not support it. Okay. Okay. All right, what's next? Next 36. is 36, to see if the town will vote to borrow, transfer, and appropriate a sum of money to purchase a stair lift for access to the second floor of the town hall. And the selectmen and the advisory board support this article. Now, Dave was... Oh, I, I had that highlighted. <coughs> oh. Vote on it yet. oh, we didn't vote on it yet. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll make sorry. a motion to support 36. I'd like to hear what we're doing. You want me to answer that? Or? Yeah. yeah. Dave said uh, we're going to get a stair lift. I mean, a, a, it's not a stair chair. It's a uh, platform lift. You can put a wheelchair on it up to yep. six or seven hundred pounds. Yep. And, and it will go up to the left side of the yes. rail, go around the corner, 
Yep. And it will go up and, to a landing, and you can get out of it very comfortably. It's going to just, you're okay. going to get off. I'm, I'm, I'm totally cool with that part of it. And we're trying to get, and the purpose of this um, is so we can get access to the second, second floor, as you know, until you and your committee get an elevator with the grants, which may take five, six, seven years. We don't know. And yep. in the meantime, we can get the upstairs before it goes, before it falls apart. And, and it's forty. It's around forty-five to forty-six thousand. And ADA is going to buy. Bill Simpson's on board. He's got all the, um, okay, all that. And Jeff Taylor, the bill inspector, will sign off, providing we get the, all the stuff from the uh, state. That Bill's already got it. And he sure. also went to the both historical commissions, okay. local and a state. And then he has to get the um, what do you call it? Um, Architectural board. No, not that. The other one. Um, permission from the ADA. ADA. What's the word? Um, I'm trying to think. Access board. Yeah, but there's. Uh, um, it's the variance. It's a variance. I think. Uh, we have to get a variance. Once we get to, the, and they're on board with it, as long okay. as they know that we're working on getting something. Permit. What, what, what were the prices that you? Forty six. From. Yeah, but you you were supposed to get us. I, I got I got a couple more too. Yeah. What were the other ones? One one was ten. Uh, no, one was fifteen. And, but but it doesn't take a wheelchair. Okay, fifteen. And the other and the other one is is twenty two, I believe. But yeah. that doesn't take a wheelchair either. And so the one for forty six will we'll take, take a, a six to seven hundred pound person in a wheelchair, and it's a platform. It's it's big. And I'm still working with two other companies to get two more bids. Question I have is. We got to the second floor. Do we have issues that be caught? We need access also to the third floor. No, it's only the third floor is just the balcony area, really. Right. Oh, ring the bell? Well, if the, as long as we're not as long as we're not using the third floor and we're not people like we're, if we start using the third floor, regular you know people that aren't handicapped, then we're in violation. But as long as we're not you know, people not going up there on a regular basis. We're so I don't okay. think an elevator was going to go up to the third, third floor. It, it, wasn't. it was a stop and it was going to just, stop just at so the second. Just so we all understand, it was four million to go four floors. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. Four for million just for, four for an floors. elevator. Yeah. No, 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 no. To go fix this building to go four floors was oh, four million it. bucks. Yeah. To, and to re, yeah to renovate the building. Right? Yeah. That's another. That's another topic. So, so we'll be getting there if we get to the second floor. So anyway. are you going to get, now these are, you now you're going to get some more quotes? I am, yes. For this, and so we'll have a. I want to try to get some more for the, for the platform mm -hmm. versus okay. with the chairs. I want to get like six of them, okay. four, four or five of them if I can. Okay, all right. All right, so we need to vote on this. Yes. Someone had to entertain a motion on the uh, stair lift. vote on to put this on? The handicap. <laughs> Chairlift. To support. Uh, to support. Yeah. Okay. 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 Second. 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 Everybody, Motion any more discussion? Second. All in favor? Yeah. All in favor? Okay. Aye. Okay. Okay. All right, you got to go back to 33. Yes. We have to go back so to 33? Yeah, because we don't support that. <coughs> okay. We need more information. You didn't have 33 on here. That's probably. We just wanted some more. Uh, and we got we got some quotes, I think, and they were a lot less than. than we we haven't seen what their source of bids were. All we got was, um, you know, a sheet with estimated costs. Mm -hmm. And one of the things on there was um, something an outrageous an outrageous price for um, safety glasses, for instance. Their and description, I think. I it, think. That's yeah. correct. But I used to work for a company that provides prescription glasses for uh, and safety equipment for like the city of Worcester, National Grid, Northeast Utilities, Veolia Water, all you know very big important companies yeah. um, and I used to handle actual prescriptions and the costs and insurance and everything and there's no way they cost that kind of money. What it, kind of money would they say? They could go um, maybe 150 bucks a pair and then I'm serious I'm yeah. serious yeah. Uh, and up uh, of course, depending on what you wanted to do, but there's no way they cost that kind of money. But we could quote um, 600, right? I think he said 300, wasn't it? 300? No, there was no, was six. Um, I it was safety six. glasses, 300 times two pairs, so $600. Yes, that's yeah, my last pair cost about 225. Yeah, well, I think it, may, it depends on where you go. My husband went 
My husband went to a, um, a doctor as well, and it depends on what kind of frame you choose. Yeah. There's a lot of different variables. We, we don't have to give Oleg Cassini safety glasses, right. okay? You know, it's just, but there were a couple of other things too. Um, another, hmm? So you're not in favor, okay. Well, no, but we wanna, no, we, we still, we're still looking for more information. Uh, so, so we're supported at a different level. We're in, we're in favor, but we just, we're just trying to be a little more conservative on the prices and have actual yeah. cost. How, how, well, however, he's including in here Things that are already, already included in, in his budget, right. okay, such as T-shirts and vests and that sort of thing. Chainsaw boots. Every guy needs a set of chainsaw boots at two hundred and sixty dollars. Everybody's not is going to be running the chainsaw. I mean, you know. And I and I brought this to that the company and asked the guy to price it out for me. Um, I have to check my emails when I get home and see if he forwarded that to me yet. And uh, but he looked at this and said. That's overblown, and this is a guy with um, probably close to ten years' experience for pricing things out for various entities. So, I just we think it's too much. It can be done for a lesser okay. amount. All right, we'll come up with some figures and get back to us. And that's all we. Yeah, can we're on board for the safety factor. I mean, I'm, I brought up the hard hats myself, but we, we need just. That. But but the, the 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 figures were a little. I we thought were pretty. Will you go back. You yeah. Come back with us figures, and then we'll right, see we'll the highway. Like we'll well, we're ho I'm hoping what they, they can do. forward to us like the bid from the actual company that they're getting this stuff from. Okay. You okay. know. I'll call Cindy tomorrow. I'll call Cindy. All right. So that's it. I have I have one more now. You said on your May second selectmen's meeting. You and Clarence said that you wanted to put on an article about reducing the taxes. And then you decided no. No, we just fall, right? well, we'll do it in the fall. fall. That's what we said because we yeah. don't know what we're going to have for money. So all the money will be spent by the time that happens, Linda. <coughs> Most of it. No, but we don't even know. So we decided not to put it on. I don't think there was even one put on the year before. Well, that doesn't mean we don't do it sometime. We always don't. Gotta it was, just, start it was somewhere. just a suggestion because I didn't yep. know really what we yep. had for money, and it was. You know, we meant. To, I meant to ask Carrie, did she get a, a, a certified amount of our free cash yet? No, yeah. she's got to. No, she's got to have Let's all the work done. Wait for a few more docs. Okay. This is why she's having Veda come in to help her out to get everything straightened exactly. out. Right, which is fine. Okay, okay, so I'd like to make a motion to close the town meeting one. You've got the motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, um, how about we adjourn tonight and on the 30th we'll just specifically take on the um, warrant line item. <laughs> Just that, and we won't put anything else on the bar on the meeting agenda. Now, when is time. when is is that going to give? Yeah, that gives us enough time for printing. That okay. Wednesday. That'll be the thirty first. That'll be Wednesday at six thirty. Um, well, if we get the information back from Highway, could we take that up then? Just so you guys know. Well, we can so amend we it on the floor too. Right? Yeah, yeah, it can be amended on the floor. I mean, we can discuss it yeah. on the floor. Right. And then we'll just. Carrie's going to also have some more information yeah. on the articles. On Wednesday. Carrie might have some more information on some of the articles, too, for us. No. I just got one for 6.30 a.m. Bob, are you good? I didn't send it, so. You got one for what? Oh, I did. 6.30 a.m. You're going to be here? On the 30th, on the 31st. Oh, 2 p.m. Oh, yes. I'm telling you what oh, came yeah. through where's, on the thing. Who's the phone? Okay. Throw me under the bus. Is this oh. you, right? That was me. Next. So Wednesday at 6.30 and... Contract for the chief. I'll amend that. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I read it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I had anything that... Okay, you got it. Do we want to bring anything else? Anybody have anything else? Be, be. So I think, all righty, um, I'd like to entertain a motion. I got Googled. Yep. Are you guys good? Anything else before the board? Session? No. On Anything else before two. the board, Bill? Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. No. I'm Bobby? Okay. Okay. Robert? Yeah, but I have to read those. Someone so want to I'm going to entertain a motion. To conduct return. strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations Second. with non-union personnel or to conduct collective uh. bargaining sessions or contract <laughs> negotiations with non-union <laughs> personnel. Snyder, uh. Roger. So Bill. A mushy pumpkin. It's done on to number two. Is there another one for union negotiations? 
I'm going to step for you bill five hours shy. It's not going to be Okay, thank you now. Um, for you, anything. And then we will come back thank and we will... Bill, then we will kill adjourn. Kill Bill, bill you have to, did you, did you have all the other meetings written down? There was another one. There's Wednesday.